don't know how well it's gonna work, but yeah. Hey. I don't think we got anybody watching right now, though. Oh, you just started. Yeah. I can drink, can't I? There we go. Sure, you can drink if you want to. I won't stop you from drinking. No, I'll do that too. That's not the point. <laughs> oh, that's much better. Alright. <laughs> oh my gosh! Where'd you get the new truck? <laughs> it's a clean it's a clean truck. How far away can you walk with the uh uh quash wand? I don't know. Uh this is as far as I can go. Oh, does it has a phys it has a physical tether? Yeah, cuz it goes pressure washers hose restricts you from going any further. Well, I mean, that's pretty good length. That's that's kind of interesting that it has a physical tether. Like a real fresh rusher. Mm-hmm. When I get back with the stump grinder, probably give this one a bath too. Yep. And uh yeah, I'm gonna wanna start cutting down trees. The shop's all about oh, the lumber mill, ain't it? Hey, hey uh, buds. Huh? Take a look at this. What up? The paint's been scratched on this on this uh, log lift. Oh. Huh. Well, I know they I know they have damage on it, and this is down like an eighth so far. So it might translate to these parts, unless that's just, you know, pre-script. No, I don't think that was there. Interesting. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna go cut down trees. Hmm. Yeah. I think the tractor's all rinsed off. Hmm. Yeah, because even the paint's scratched up on the uh, log trucks. Okay. That must be how they trans uh, translate damage into the game. Maybe. Okay, there should be a couple trees down over here already. Yep, there's like one or two beforehand. The shop's over by the sawmill, isn't it? Yep. You go past the sawmill into the uh, the little concrete kind of open driveway. Mm-hmm. You'll see it. All right. So yeah, I think to make No Man's Sky a little more bearable as a game if we start chill streaming it later. Yeah. We need to set a personal goal for it. Kind of like we're doing for this. Well, I think we set a personal goal for it. It's just that we never went back. <laughs> well, yeah. I know we wanted to check out the base building. And I wanted to check out the uh, bio ships. Yeah. Well, the bio ships came out since we played it last, didn't they? No, they came out just before it. Okay. That was part of the reason I wanted to do the playthrough, and you're like, oh yeah, that looks cool. <laughs> yeah, well, you know how it is. We get distracted, find something else, do something else. It's a thing. One of my favorite toys. What, getting distracted? No. <laughs> I'm picking it up. <laughs> well, Thundra needs to get back here with her said favorite toy so that we can go and... Uh, I just start picking it up with a little one over here.
and she's gonna be off grinding stumps anyway. Almost, uh, almost kind of wish this little one had a uh, front end connector. Yeah, <coughs> I thought it did. <coughs> it must have been a different small one. Uh, probably an unmodded one. This thing was super cheap. Yeah. Well, this thing costs about as much as your stump grinder did. Uh, the at the 500 favorite, the or the Ben Ben did. Ben T, yeah, has a front end connector, it and then fun. the Hall and <coughs> whatnot up through have them. Okay. And that's for the small tractors. I'm a coming. We need a proper small tractor once we have enough money. Yeah. I mean, I love that little tiny modded thing, but the thing is just so freaking cheap. I... When we first played this, I was running around in a specific tractor. There was a small tractor. It wasn't the medium size category. But I don't remember what it was called. It had a front wow. attachment like this one does, though. But it wasn't as big as this one. <coughs> and I yeah, we just looked at them, Thundra. Okay, I didn't know if that's the one you were talking about. I was talking about several of them. The Fendi T or whatever it is is uh Whoa, lag spike. Fend <laughs> That should do it, right? Uh, I think so. But that's the cheapest tractor, cheapest small tractor that has the front end attachment stuff on it. Well, that'd be every bit, bit as much as our first uh, major upgrade. Yeah. By itself. And that's why, the. Uh, that's why we went with these. The large tractor. The the medium tractor that we're currently running. Yep. That front end attachment is a paid upgrade, so. Yep. Here I am. <coughs> Alright, where's the stump? Uh, <coughs> out there somewhere. Hmm. Actually, pretty good. You got some sharp cheddar. Mix it with everything. Yeah, careful. There's uh... a... <coughs> These trees really haven't been taken out yet. <coughs> yeah. You know, I bet that can be picked up by hand. What, the one I just picked up? The one I just... Yep. And you did it over here? No. No, you find what you're doing. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the stump. Alright, stump. It's been a while since I played with you. So your prayer, stump. Exactly. Because thunder's coming. Hmm. Stuff's actually pretty good. Is this some homemade or branded bot stuff? Oh, homemade. <clears throat> okay. I don't I don't like making uh, sauces from uh, powdered crap. I'm sorry, didn't you have flour in it? Yes, but you know Did what I mean. Did you have powdered crap in it? <laughs> Did you add cornstarch of any sort to make it thicker? I added a pinch of cornstarch. And it's got powdered crap in it. Bye, Stump. <sighs> Looking for next stump. You're going to start making me fussing at you like I do if people crap out organic bullshit. Turn the engine off for a minute because this stump needs to move. Object is too heavy. Well, I have a solution for that. Stick! 
<clears throat> Pushes away from my from my stump to cut. Unless Daniel wants to take over the stump duties. Uh, I think he's over helping me. Unless you want to drop that stump cutter and start and put the front end attachment on it and bring that stuff over for me to wash. Also, there's two stumps over here behind you where I'm sitting. Three. Okay. But yeah, that, that thing needs a good washing. Yep. It's a, good, gonna, a good washing. It's going to get a good washing after I get this damn logs uh, out of the way. Yep, there's another hand liftable log. WM. Ooh, I just ran into a stump. <laughs> That's the reason why we need to get rid of them. Mm -hmm. they're, they're dangerous. Very. <laughs> Hello. Let's see, are you hand lifted? Yep. Let's get you Someone out of here. Someone lowered their back weight. No, I didn't yep. touch your back weight. <laughs> uh, I usually do that when I park them in Thunder Power and never lifted it. That's because I don't normally pick them up. Yeah, it's sort of a realism thing that I'm doing. I'm just going to make sure it's properly parked instead of leaving everything up like this. <laughs> we'll park them. Alright, that's too heavy. That's too heavy. Yep. Get away from the stump. Get this one away from the stump. Realism kind of went out the window when I started doing this with the locks. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, a little exploitation never hurts. Alright, this one I'm not going to be able to do that trick with because there's a stump there. So I need to move these down to get away from my stumps. Thundra is a stump queen. There you go. She's a little stumpy. She's a little stumpy. That has double yeah. meaning, and you know it. I don't know what you, Did you just... Here, might as well finish eating it. A little greedy shit. Did he just steal your popcorn? No. He got into big boy's food. He'd already eat most of it. It's just more of a... principal thing. Yeah. Alright, there's a stump. There's a stump. There's stump, there's stump. There's four stumps I can get rid of now. It's a stump, 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 stump. Whoop. Give it up back. <coughs> Are you trying to get the log in there? I still find it funny when you pick up a log that's too heavy. How it literally lifts the tractor off the ground. Yeah. Well, you know, physics. Sometimes <laughs> they apply, sometimes they don't. <coughs> I find it funny. It's kind of, it's, they're, they're kind of like all joined mounds. Sometimes they feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Mm -hmm. That's how physics are in this. Sometimes they matter, sometimes they don't. Mm -hmm. Almond Joy's got nuts. Mounds don't. That's all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, anytime everybody mentions those, it's like, oh, my God, the commercial. <laughs> yeah. I remember the commercial. <laughs> yeah, the only commercial I remember about Almond Mounds was, sometimes you feel like it, sometimes you don't. Mm. Yeah, they didn't uh, censor it up here. <laughs> Yeah, because apparently somehow nut means something dirty. Yeah, but you, know, apparently. but you know, it's also something very edible and crunchy and tasty and good for you. You know, that's probably the wrong thing to be saying with all that involved. <laughs> you think? 
Yeah, Fuzz, the the paint on the bottom of this one. Uh huh. It is really tore up. Oh yeah. So I wonder if that means there's technically permanent damage to this. Unless that it's applied to the well, because yeah, because I've still got like a quarter damage on this one. Or like an eighth damage. I bet if I went and repaired this whole thing, the scratches would go away. Yeah, because they'd repaint it once they were done fixing it. Hello. <coughs> Hello. Hi. Uh. So, I just beat Risk of Rain 2 as engineer. Nice. Congrats. Cool. After doing 20 runs or 20 <laughs> levels. I, we didn't. It, we only mm -hmm. attempted the boss once. We just circled the map several times. Yeah. Getting more and more stuff. Right, I have one that was picked up by hand. Let's see if it was this one. Yep. Just so one. is it just a mad dash to kill him before he starts using the items, I guess? Yeah. That was pretty much it. We, uh. Uh, Aegis had commando. Uh huh. And just. A crap ton of uh, uh, soldier syringes. So he, yeah, and then we all had uh, things that did bleed effect. So we we had so many items that we just started spamming attack on him as soon as he started pulling stuff, and we killed him before he pulled all of our items. Okay. Used his own tactic against him. Yeah. You can't steal our stuff if it's already used on you. Well, no, they can steal it. It's the fact that they had so much that it took him so long to pull it compared to how much damage they were dealing to him. Yeah. Like, I probably had 250 through 300 items on my character alone. What the? But y'all did y'all did that on Drizzle, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Because good luck trying to do that on anything else. Uh, maybe, maybe Monsoon, or whatever the second level is, normal normal level. Does this mean you're done with the tractor, so I can go back to stump hunting? Looks like it. Although we're gonna need it for the larger trees before long. So stump grind while you can. Tab. Drop. Drop. <laughs> no. You got you gotta switch them. Drop the other one. And you gotta make sure it's physically on the ground before you drop it. And you cycle through the parts with G. Uh, let's try. Let's try not get too far ahead of what we can load, just so it doesn't look like an impossible task. You know, and I'm uh, not clear cutting Hur the whole place. Hurricane Daniel. <clears throat> I am not clear cutting the whole place. Okay, Hurricane Daniel. Hey, you say cut. I say where. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I cut like three trees. Whoa. And I was using them, my stump, not my something, but the, my one stick that was pick upable to move them. So I can get them away from the stumps. So I can do this. Stump, 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 da dump, 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 da dump, 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 da da dump, 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 dump. Stop, call it fuzz dumb. I hey, I. Except what I am. <laughs> what? How, why did you just automatically assume she was <coughs> talking to Fuzz? Because she was looking at him while saying it. How? I'm looking at... <laughs> you do know I drive in first person most of the time, right? So she was looking at a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> well, now. Oh, give me that back. Give me that back. Mm -hmm. Oh, did we get a new truck or did we repair the old truck? 
We finally washed the damn thing. We got a. I went in and got a pressure washer. Alright. It, we spent a little bit. Repaired. Oh yeah, I repaired it too. Mm -hmm. Went in, got it repaired, got it washed. Technically, I had a. Oh shit. Oh well. I had to reset it because of an update. Uh, so it was white. We didn't have our running lights. We didn't have our grill front. None of it. And uh, so I went off and did the upgrade. I put a lift kit on it. What do you think about it? I'm kind of in the middle. I haven't got 100% guarantee uh, from anybody else. I like it because the if nothing else, it gives us a better line for the trailer. Okay. That's what I needed because I didn't hate it, but I didn't like it either. And I didn't get a perfect entrance from anybody else, so there we go. It's I, not my truck. It's <laughs> the company truck. I know, but how often do I drive the truck? I don't know. My big problem with it, Fuzz? Uh huh? This must be like one of those trucks in uh, Freefall. What's that? Um, the drivetrain does not connect to the engine. I'm trying to pull my drink more. Oh, I don't? No. Yeah, no, if you look underneath, the drivetrain just goes from between the tires. It doesn't connect to anything up underneath. And the, yeah, and the, how? Okay. <laughs> Maybe this is an electric truck. We just didn't know it. Maybe that sound is there going through the audio banks. Well, it's, it still has an it still has an exhaust, but... The... Steam. It's steam. It's it's just heated oh, steam. Oh, so the... the this is a, a hydrogen. <laughs> yep. So was the brand the Hindenburg brand? <laughs> I guess. I I really, if I ever created a hydrogen uh, powered vehicle, I would name it the Hindenburg. Why? Oh, the humanity. Oh, God. Is that my getting a reference? Not getting a reference that I should. Oh, oh the humidity. Not the humidity. Oh, humidity. Oh, it's hurting. <laughs> hey, if I haven't been exposed to it, it's because so nobody has done so yet. It's it's not just you. It's D Swink's bad jokes. <clears throat> Hindenburg was a Zeppelin, or yes, it was yeah, a rigid airship, therefore Zeppelin. Yeah, so it was a Zeppelin that had this paint that had lead and some sort of accelerant mixed in with it. Lead and zinc. Yeah, and it basically went up in flames. Well, also Zeppelin on the all rigid airships were hydrogen filled. Yeah, so hey, Lelouch. Fire, fireball? No, that's that's uh that's next week. D and D's next week. <laughs> but yes, Hindenburg went up like a freaking fireball. It's good to see you, by the way. I haven't seen you in a while. What you been up to? Hello. I am Leo. Le 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 How do we let that? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Lelouch, I think. Well, hi! Uh, I think it's Code Geass, I think? Yes. Code Geass, yeah. Lelouch. Alright, to grum. To grind. To grind, to grind, to grind. Zoom, zoom. Alright. Oh! Ah. I hear you, man. I hear you. Which one are you putting it on? The back one or the front one? Front one. Thundra, watch out. What? That? There you yeah, because mm -hmm. you're, you're driving right into the middle of a cut zone. Well, that's because the cut zone is like part of my job. It's, you know, the stops. Stop. Stop. Throw this one on and you can boogie on. Uh huh. Stumpy, stumpy, stump. Stumpy, stumpy, stump. Bye, bye, stump. So, what is our next purchase after it, that? It's going to be the. It's going to be the plot of land. Plot of land. Okay. Just to make the worry word over there happy. Make the account manager happy. 
You know, it makes sense. I agree with it. It does, but if you if and and I'm gonna go through this with you too. The decisions made. We're getting the next piece of land, but if you go into finances, Monday, day two of gameplay, we spent two hundred and seventy nine thousand yeah. dollars. Tuesday. Oh, I'm sorry. We, we was, spent. Yes. Was, yeah. Putting the lift kit on this. So much better control. Um. <laughs> I don't think it's the lift kit. It may be. It might be the lift kit. <laughs> But it might be just because it updated. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I'm still, I'm still like fishtailing the the trailers. Yeah. But the when the trailers <clears throat> do that, it's not lifting the front wheels off the ground. Right. Which means I still have control. Wood sold. Okay, so wood sold. Wood sold for Monday was about twenty thousand. Tuesday was sixty six, almost sixty seven thousand. Wednesday was one hundred and eleven thousand. Today what? so far twenty thousand. Could you come over to me for a moment? Uh, tractor or just me? Just you. Where are you? Uh, on the other end of Thundra from you. On the other end of uh, me. I, I'm glad I'm a directional point. <laughs> Oh, there you are. Name just popped in. Right. Did you find something interesting out here? Yeah, well, as soon as you started approaching, this tree went from standing straight up to on the ground. Oh, well, it does that sometimes. It's a it's a weird thing with the uh, physics and falling. Sometimes they just stay standing up. I've had to do some weird stuff with cutting to make that happen sometimes. No! Well, it, it didn't update until your name came into view. Yeah. <laughs> range. But that's the edge of this property. Okay. Where this tree got cut down. Alright. That's not too bad. But yeah, we we that one piece of property probably had enough wood on it to give us back what we would have started with had I not put it all into the ether and destroyed it. But I'm 100% okay with just buying the next piece of land because it does make sense. But also, I'm ready to start spending money too, so now that's there. Yay! Part of the fuzz I know is Wait, still there! Did you used to have the fan on the dashboard or not? Nope. Hard to update. You got interiors now. You can get a little lizard, the fan, or a hat. I kind of like the little lizard. I like the little lizard, but the fan is... How was that? Was the hat on the dashboard? Yes. Which is usually... Really? really? What? I wanted to turn around. Well, you did. I know. But I knew what it... I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> since it operates better, we can go ahead and load long like we did before. Yeah. Uh, I need to straighten it out if we're going to do that. Get yep. out of the way. So I have to let you cut it. Yep. Find my stumper. There we go. Back out now. Find my stumper. Find my stumper. Five by stumper. How many stumpers do you got? Uh, don't. Every tree. The... <laughs> She's finding the big stumps. Yeah. It sounds like she was saying find the stumper or found my stumper. I was like, what, what are you talking about? No, she fell off the stump. The stump's here, Thundra. I can't see it because of all the damn tree brush. Well, you need to turn your tire. Holy crap! Holy crap! I can move this. That. that is impressive, Fuzz. Now move oh. forward. Oh, crap, it is. Hang on, let me get out of the way. <laughs> that is impressive. Move forward. <laughs> wow. wow. One in a million right there. I know. Now it's gone. Holy right. crap. <laughs> Holy crap. Yep, my stump gone. Bye bye. Ah. Stumper. Hey, it's balanced. Let's see. Let's go and get that one locked in and that one Whee! locked in. Alright, you got your screenshot? Uh, let me. Let me get a better. 
Would you like a lift? <laughs> uh. Yeah, let, let, let's get a little bit of height here. Alright, let me... I need to get the, the health option off the screen. Uh, I I think there's a quick button for it, but you have to go into the menu, find out which one it is. Okay. How, how do I turn that off? Uh, because I've done it before. It is in the uh, the one that looks like the monitor screen option. Okay. Auto help icon off. That it's not. I that would be help icon, right? No, those are in the world. The top window. Help, window. help window. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, okay. I got screenshots of it. I'm gonna get it from another angle as well. But yeah. Uh, that that was impressive. Never do it again. Yep. Get away from my stump. Alright, Lolos. Thank you for stopping by, man. Be safe. Or my stump up. There, my stump. Timber! Ah! Hello! Ah! Got a wild man back there on the chainsaw. I've got a discussion topic. Okay. It uh, It's something that I've I kind of talked with you before about Fuzz. Uh huh? And I know I there was a time I talked with Thunder about it. That avoiding things like things that give just wishes. Things like that. Ah, I remember this conversation. So like uh, the Dragon Balls or Aladdin's Lamp or anything along those lines. If you could reach into a TV show, video game, whatever, and grab one item, say it has to fit through your monitor, what would you grab? Well, considering my answer would be negated by your newest addition to that. Yes, that's um, why I added that. I know. Um... I can't immediately think of any, like, pop culture, Saturday morning cartoon, fantasy, whatever, that I've coveted so much. Um, I was thinking, like, a, a hoverboard from uh, Back to the Future. Yeah. That could be fun. <sighs> it would probably be... Okay, I'm going to stop cutting until you guys catch up. <laughs> Probably a good idea. Um, and as an aside, since the stream hasn't heard most of the, the context of this, um, whatever item you get, it functions like it does in the story yeah. that it's in. The one thing I keep going back to, which is something I've been meaning to sit down and do a 3D print of, yeah, is the Sword of Omens. Sword of Omen. What's yeah, that? uh, that's the Thundercats uh, uh, Lion O Sword. Okay. Why are you doing that? Does that, does that sword have to be like? Does it choose its wielder or I anything? Don't believe so. Okay. Because I brought this up with other people, and people have said, like, Keyblade. And Keyblades don't... I think they choose who wields them, so... Yeah. Yeah, I don't believe it.
Hmm. See, I might be able to get a proton pack to squeeze through my TV. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And if I ask really, really nicely, I might be able to pull piece by piece of the ecto. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> One piece at a time. Kind of like that huge bottle kit that's being released by a monthly basis. Yeah. Well, wasn't there an old like country song that was like, or maybe it was early rock? I mean, they they kind of have a similar feel. But, yeah. Uh, One piece at a time. Like, uh huh. Where the guy he smuggled out a uh, a Cadillac out of the the factory one piece at a time and it's a like a it takes him seven years or something to get all the parts and since it always each model year changes it just is this mishmash mm -hmm. that's actually kind of funny but you've heard the song before no I haven't Okay, I'm gonna have to look that up. I haven't heard yeah, this. I, have I haven't heard of a song story. relating to it, but I have heard of that story before. I just don't remember it being a song. Yeah, it it is a song because I I remember the chorus. It, it, it's from the same time as you got to stop driving that. Uh, son, you're gonna drive me to drink, and you got to stop driving that hot rod Lincoln. Well, they want my strength. Thanks, man. I thought you, I didn't think you cared about it. Plus, I don't sleep well enough for content. I, I, one, I don't, and two, you don't. So we're all good. I wasn't trying to sing either. <laughs> oh, you saying that if you're trying to sing, you could sing better? Uh, that one, yes. Really? So can we get a proper chorus this time? No. Why not? Please? <laughs> because right now my voice is full, my, not my voice, but my throat is full of phlegm. Ah! Try to look for stumps. There's stumps everywhere, Thundra. You keep running them over. No, I... I they are... Uh, something you can do, Thundra, you might be able to uh, hit the uh, settings. And uh, you know how, like, an arc, you can turn down the grass debris yeah. setting? I haven't looked, but you might be able to do that in this. All right, well, let me look because or we can get a mower. <laughs> mower would be nice. I haven't turned off that um that mod yet. Remember? Yeah, I know, but it should clean up the uh, big bushes. Oh yeah, I didn't do the big bushes. That's true. The true mower will do the big bushes. Yeah. Uh, I don't see anything of like that. It does have a lot of stuff, but it does not have... Uh, one of my friends could play Hot Rod Lincoln on his dulcimer. On his what? Dulcimer. <laughs> dulcimer, not a... <laughs> yeah, what's a dulcimer? It's a string instrument. Oh, is that is that like a steel guitar laying down? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the one that you have the you have like the metal ring that you use on the, the strings. Yep. Never knew what it was called, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah. They sometimes look kinda like a a big ukulele. Yep. There's dump. But with with a, they've got a smaller neck. Yeah, the ones that I'm thinking about that I am assuming is what it is. It's almost like it has no neck at all. No, damn. Pretty close Price. to it. No idea what was hanging. What was hanging on to? 
Whoops. Uh, nothing at this point. Yeah, no, I've already dropped it. But it's, it's like it was just hanging there in midair for a second. Yeah. Had some serious hang time that did. Uh, D Swank, can you confirm to me exactly who's joining us tomorrow? Or supposed to be joining us? Um. Well, it's you three regulars. Yeah. Stump here at Thunder. Thank you. And, uh. Mouse was going to join us, but he's not going to pull it off this week. Okay, that's what I was thinking. I, I thought it was Cryo. So. How are you going to tie him into where we're at right now? Uh, it's going to be a little harder to handle than. Uh, are, are we are we going to have to uh, suspend disbelief for a little while? No. Okay. Yeah, I y'all basically, if y'all operate the way I'm expecting you to, that's dangerous. Going, you know. Yeah. Well. My. Uh, uh, Thundra. I got one right here. The the session is going to open up him. with um, your character uh, 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 Mike getting a phone call from Xbox. Okay. And basically saying, hey, you've got a, uh, because there's that town that equates to roughly 40 miles away. Yeah. Come on. Which also would be the only town that would have, like, uh, a motel, hotel, or anything in it nearby. Yeah. Right. It has the regional airport. Basically, there's going to be a phone call from X-Files saying, hey, uh, we've got somebody we're adding to your group. Uh, has expertise in areas that y'all are lacking. Um... Uh, these might be getting a bit too big for the small tractor. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm trying to get Thunder to hurry up and uh, oh, drop that gotta, off. <laughs> Jane got a rush. Can that one not connect to the the smaller tractor? No. No, and we were just talking about potentially getting another small tractor, but it's going to cost every bit as much as our first upgrade. Yeah. But um, I tell you what, though, Thunder. Hang on a second. Uh, I'm gonna step out and hit the restaurant. I'll be back. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna take care of some real business here for a second, and then we'll get back to role play. Uh, there's a couple of major stumps out here, which I think is one Daniel's been holding you towards. Yeah, there's one right here that I'm here. sitting and chopping away, and it's not, I'm not disappearing. Uh, it might be gone. Do you see something? No. Warmer? Still there for me. Where are you, Fuzz? Yeah, I see it. Thunder needs to back up a little bit. Tell you what, let me see if I can cut it. That's not there at all. I think that might be a. Um... Do you think? Yep. Well, if we're all seeing it and she's bumping over it. Yeah, just, just leave that in for now. Go ahead and try to get that one there. But uh, there's a couple out front here that's going to get in the way as we're trying to move to... Uh, I'll stand on this one if you find another one, Daniel. Well, I'm waiting to see if... Yep, that one disappeared. I'll play Connect the Dots. <laughs> there's one here, I see too. one next to me, too. There's one right next to me, too. Let's see, there are two major no-nos over here that would get in the way. Ow! Hold mm -hmm. that. I stubbed my toe on my desk. Ow! God, I know that pain. That one's gone, and there's one right here next to it, me, so I'm getting it real quick. Then I'm going to play yep. connect it out with Daniel. Yep, and when you're done with those... There you go. That's the one I'm trying to get to. Yep. When you're done with those, there's two back over this way. Alright, let me go get Daniel first. Look out, Daniel, she's coming for you. <laughs> no, I know, with a giant blade. <laughs> the spinning. I can't see it. A spinny stall dude. Oh, there it is. Here. Doom! Doom! It's gone. Come on. Oh, 
I'm gonna eat fuzz. Yep. There's one here. I know, and... I just run over the other one, I think. Yeah. Uh, when you get done with that, yeah. try this one again, see if maybe you just wasn't hitting it right. Yeah. And there's one roughly here. And that'd be good because we need to start getting some of these big logs. I have returned. Yep, yeah, it's gone. Welcome back. So anyway. Anyway. Anyway, Delta Green. Yep, it's gone. Oh, uh, you're know, you're basically gonna get a, a phone call from X Files. Yeah. And that one's gone. The point of the phone call is that you, in a couple of hours, you're going to have um, that one's gone. A member arrive at that regional airport. Okay. That one's gone. It's one right here. All right. Once that one's gone, that should be good enough. And. Yep, it's gone. Because the rest of the stumps you won't be able to get to until after the big trees have been moved. Fuzz? Yep. You want to be big tree duty? Yep. I still want to grab this stump right here. They disconnected the wrong thing here. Do you want me to drop this, uh, the truck off, the load that's in the truck now? Yeah, if you want to, just to make room for the bigger ones. Okay. I've got to. I've got to go over here. We may have to play some fun stuff to get this hooked back up because I knocked it over. You what? Well, also I get to find out it, how well it works as a, a solid trailer. Well, you know, I mean, because those wheels are locked, I think it's still going to drag and be a bit of a pain. Thundra, when did you clone yourself? Why is it that? Because I see two Thundras with two names saying Thundra. I do too. What the hell? I don't know. What the hell? Thundra? What kind of hack? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in my... Wait, wait, what the hell? <laughs> I'm in my... And you're physically there too because I can't walk through you. Yeah. <laughs> what the and, hell? And, and look, the character is actually moving like it's walking. Oh, it ain't walking, but it's... It's right it over. Exactly, it's moving like it's walking in place though. No, I don't got to walk in that place. All right, we might have to. When D Swank gets that soul, we may have to do a reload. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so, what I have discovered uh -huh. is that the trailer has pretty much no friction horizontally. Nope. You need to break that. We're gonna come over here. Yeah, if you would, Thunder, come over here and bump my uh, my forks over. Your forks? Yep. All right, I'll stop playing with logs then. That's that's the biggest reason we need to go ahead and upgrade to the next pickup truck and trailer, because that thing's gonna be a real pain in the butt. Which, uh huh. Which forks do I need to? Do? The only forks we got. This is right here. I can't um, see because all well, I see is a stream of water. I can't see them. Uh, well, come around my side and just bump it over. It should be fine after that. Okay, even though it's inside this truck, I can't cut you it. Stop spraying! I can't see that well when you do that. I can't cut it because I don't own the land. Okay. Yep. Yep, when we start getting good money, we're going to buy all the land along the roads. Because, yeah. Actually, I was wondering, how do we actually convert the road that goes through our land into a proper dirt road? There you go. Uh, thank you. Uh, I can do that. If you if you want to look at it for later purposes, Daniel, if you go into the purchase thing, there's a yep. shovel to the far right. Yeah. You can start landscaping. And from there, you can change what you're sculpting and painting and all kind of stuff. Hey, Fuzz. Yep. Want to see something funny? Sure. Just hit nine so you have the full map. Yeah. Yep. Now look in square 44. I see you going around in circles. 
Yeah. That's what I was saying was pretty funny. <laughs> I it, uh. It's weird, because it's almost like all of a sudden, as soon as y'all started complaining about Thundra hacking, um, it's almost like the trailers started having a, a power source of their own. That does okay. cost money, Daniel. So what yeah, well, I accidentally raised the land. I, I was looking for. Uh... Yeah, I don't. I don't. I'm cool with it. I'm just saying, just watch your spending because that does cost money. No, uh, no, I think you just spent eight grand. No, it was three. Yeah, it's surprisingly right. cheap to do landscaping. For some reason, I thought we we're at twenty-eight, but that might just be me and numbers and not reading them well. Well, no. Fuzz bought a uh, a spray and a, a sprayer and uh, yeah, no, uh, that was uh, but that was when well before I in. showed up. He's not when he logged in. Yeah, yeah. Fuzz's head. Because I'm trying to click on painting, but yeah, uh, construction cost was seven thousand eight hundred. New vehicles were six thousand one hundred. Uh, vehicle running cost two hundred dollars and change. Fuel cost four to five bucks. That's some really cheap fuel. Really wish I lived in this world, cause holy shit, that's some cheap fuel. Yeah, cause that, a thir it's thirty dollars to fill up my little tank, and it don't go very far when it happens. Yeah, we can actually see the dirt road in this section now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly, as we can afford it, little by little, you can keep doing that. I am not going to complain because it's nice to be able to see the damn road. Well, we're also going to have to flatten any spot that we want to put down uh, structures and whatnot. Uh, it, it'll auto-flatten. We may have to uh, level it out a bit over time, but it kind of does that on its own. But at least now I can tell where the hell this thing was placed. I didn't yep. realize it was on the other side of the road. <laughs> yep. Uh, that's the reason I put it there. Because in the bird's eye view, I was able to see the road underneath the grass. Yeah. All right. So how much did we make for that? Uh, well, like five thousand, I think. Yeah, what that much? Making like two to three times that before. What did you just sell? All right. So far, sold wood was twenty-five thousand, but that includes what we sold, you know, two nights ago because the the day-night cycle. Yeah, I, I haven't know. sold the wood that I had yet. I didn't think so. So, how did we gain money? <laughs> oh, well, whatever. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not going to cry about it. There it went. Five grand. Okay, uh, the trailer is picking the back end of the truck up again. That's what I said earlier. <laughs> yeah, like I said, that, that's why I'm advocating for the truck upgrade uh, I I f have a feeling if we j it might if we get the truck upgrade and uh, then maybe slowly build up to uh, because we're doing the the pickup truck upgrade with the dolly and a yes a, it, I would like to test and see if this truck with the lift kit could pull the Dolly set up as well. Okay. Um, let's see. The Dolly is mine by itself. And the trailer we were looking at was... It was the the timber hauler, right? Or timber runner? 28,000? I think so. Yeah, that's, that's going to put it at... Um, Woo, physics! Thirty-seven thousand. We're almost there. All right. That's. Yeah, thirty-seven thousand. So yeah, one or two more loads, we can go ahead and attempt it. And if it doesn't work, we just keep going with money until we can uh, get the pickup truck. The bigger truck, yeah.
Ah, uh, that's on the pickup. Yes. One second, let me get in the middle of it. I can't wait to buy our first uh, clear cutter. Is that that big crane looking thing? Well, technically, there is an attachment to. I I gotta I, we we gotta do some research to see which one it works on. We may have to go into the test world, but there's one that works on either a front end loader or a uh, an excavator machine. But there is one that cuts only. But I feel like we just need to mad dash towards the one that you're talking about. Like more shaking? Yes. Apparently it costs nothing just to smooth the road. Okay, cool. Alright, how's that look? That looks good. Yep. Trim it off back here. Hang on a second, that's right, this big one, not your way. Yeah, I'm trying to get the little ones that I can pick up, and uh, also trying to make a stack for you to pick up stuff with the big ones that I can't pick yeah. up. Whoa, yep. that one really is big, because it almost tipped that tractor over. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a stout one. Hi, Ghost Thunder. Ooh, yeah, we're rocking a little bit. I'm gonna get out of the truck and. This way, do you see the ghost thunder? Yeah, I. She's moving real slow though. Unless we're talking about this one being the ghost thunder. No, this one's the real thunder. <laughs> do I play with the tractors? The real thunder. Ah. The one pretty much running in place is the Ghost Thunder. I don't know if I'd call that running in place, though. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's running at all. It's just standing there for me. Now it, it's moving for me. It's moving, but it's like okay, foot just hit the ground. The back one lifted up. Foot back the one ground. just hit the ground. So it it's a good three second stride. That's not exactly running. Yeah. This is this is like Chad walking or Dio oh, walking or whatever you want to call it. So, is this a little sprayer? Is this, like... Car wash. Yeah, but can you move it? Yeah. I could I could probably move it in the menu, but otherwise, no. It's basically a building. How long... How long is this? Not very long. Yeah, it's pretty long. Decent enough. Y'all having a, a super circle war over there? Well, making sure that Daniel's clean. Yeah, good luck with that. Okay. I mean, to be, to be fair... If you try to make any of us clean in this chat right now, you're going to need more than a damn Power pressure washer. washer. Yeah. I got one! <laughs> She's got one! Hey! I'm going to come steal it from you. Okay. You have to steal it off the truck, because I'm going for it. <laughs> okay, this is dumb. What's that? I'm sitting here cutting wood with a chainsaw. 
I turn around, look outside, and notice someone's running a wood fire, and I can smell it. <laughs> and this is dumb? Yeah, because... I, I would say that was immersive and awesome. <laughs> well, I'm sitting here with a chainsaw, all of a sudden I smell burning wood, and I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I turn around and look, it's like, oh, okay. Uh, Thundra, you need to bring up your weight. Yeah, no. you, when you have it switch to it using your G button, because when you have it loaded like that, you'll get stuck on stumps that you don't see. No, I, there was a reason I was doing that. The log I was just carrying a few minutes ago was heavier, uh, and it was tipping the... Uh... Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't leave it up all the time. <laughs> just yeah, I'm... that does help a little bit. It does displace your mass a little bit. It stops me from tipping over. <laughs> There we go. I'm trying to pick up these little logs that are here at the end. Because these I should be able to pick up. Thundra, 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 Fuzz. There's Fuzz. What? I can pick up these. Just be happy he didn't call you Crunch. Eh, well, you know. I wouldn't be offended. Or Sparse. I still wouldn't be offended. There are worse things <laughs> to be called. Daniel. Something like that. Yeah. These uh, uh, That's getting pretty close, but yeah. It depends, the worst on, thing to be called. It depends on what, what, <laughs> your, what reference you're using it. Oh no! <laughs> I thought after we sold that one, we were going to re log to see if we can fix the double thunders. Well, you know, it's not hurting anything at the moment. And it makes it look busier here around here. Yeah, it looks like we have an actual supervisor now. <laughs> so I'm the supervisor now? You no. walking in place? No, I'm standing on the supervisor. <laughs> yeah, the, fact, the fact that your ghost is physically here. Yeah. Hi, Dr. Brian. Dr. Brian? Hey, Dr. Brian, how are you? Yeah, still making them. <laughs> the 2019. Yeah. Dr. Brian's one of the ones that watches Zeiss uh, and came from the Zeiss, Zeiss channel. Okay. I have no idea who those people are, but cool. Soviet Womble, the German. Ah! Unclean! That's Zeiss. <laughs> I don't watch that much Soviet Womble. Usually, when D Swank points me toward one of one of his videos, well, is I'll, I I'll let you do one there first so I can get the piece, little piece afterwards. Which is kind of sad because I like his content. I wonder if I can grab it before you cut it. Yeah. Yes. Eh. Will we let you grab it before we cut it? Maybe. Maybe. Eh, no! All I do is close it! <laughs> oh, I almost had it. I gotta pick it up off the ground. Gotta be faster, Thunder. We're working here. We got an operation here. We got time to play. I'm still learning how to control this thing. I think I've just about got it to where I'm not making as many mistakes. That should be a pretty decent load of, uh... Lumber? Yeah. Ah! Shit. There we go. You first, you're bigger. Well, damn! Well, howdy, Mr. Stone! How are you? Grabbing logs, yep! <laughs> <laughs> Lots of logs. <laughs> oh, Teach damn it. Load. I <laughs> yeah, I, I shouldn't have said it. I shouldn't have said anything about that making mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and load my my log then. <laughs> hey, watch it. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> We're not jousting with tractors today. Not yet. We're supposed to do work first. <laughs> you can only joust with those if you can crab steer. <laughs> I don't know if I can crab steer with this particular one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're fighting with the logs. Definitely a Pikachu one. 
Are those hand pick upable? The ones that we chopped down? Some of them? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't look. I just started picking them up with this thing. <laughs> I mean, you might be able to grab the whole bunch of them, as small as they are. Got a nickel holding up a dime here. Go get your dime in there. Why go get another one? Get your diamond? Get your dime in there. <laughs> get your diamond in there, Fuzz. <laughs> um, actually, Brian... I have my, not had anybody call it that before, but I'm flattered. I've never been a child-friendly streamer. <laughs> so... What? A woman thinks that we're child-friendly. <laughs> I'm gonna take this and drop it off. Yep, run with it. And I got a feeling that we're about to get a dolly. All right, I got Please me. Blank. You should have a road that you can pretty much follow all the way back now. Yeah. Oh. Actually, be able to see. Whoa. Oh, did you already cleared all the way? No, I'm finishing off the road at the end here through 44. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Hey, Fuzz. Yes. Um, this one is. Oh, you you're got... actually spending money though. <laughs> That's all right. <coughs> Fuzz. You, okay. you need to get yes. this, this log. I can't get this log with this tractor. Okay. Stop going. I could get it over here, but there's no way I can lift up high enough to actually put it on the trailer. I mean, it's nice that it only costs a few dollars once in a great while, so... Yeah, it, it's not that expensive, and this gives us a guaranteed way to drive... to a degree. Back and forth. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Bolt's playing Star Trek Online. Yes, he's been he got back into it, so I was updating it earlier. He's playing Ferengi. Uh, and I've got yeah, I, that uh that makes Vulcans. sense with Bolt. I was about to say that. I playing yeah. uh two Vulcans. Yeah, that makes sense. But uh I want to love Star Trek Online, I really do. It's like the space battle itself, oh my god. That's where it's at. It's gotten better. Well, the space battles remind me so much of Starfleet Command. Yeah. Games. But, uh... uh Let's see if I can get one more than one of these things. Open my teeth really wide. I mean, I could see myself switching between um, Secret World to get through Egypt and Star Trek. There we go. I went all the way down through 44, and it now all should be quite you visible. You stop jumping on the thing! Breaking my concentration. Okay. Oh, shush. I just really, really wish the Star Trek Online did more with the original series because I was utterly in love with the original series starting arc. Utterly and totally in love with them. I will there say used to be, and I don't know if they, it still exists, but huh? people could make custom homemade missions. I don't know about that. That, that, but... that, that makes in the cryptic. Uh huh. Yeah, that would make sense, because I think Cryptic had uh, Neverwinter, too, and they did that as well. Yeah, no, they still have the mission editor, so that okay. people can make their own missions for Star Trek Online. Might have to look into that. Because that's, that's one of the... Huh? Those were good. Yeah, because that's, that's one of the reasons I had an infatuation with Neverwinter. Is you could do... Oh, yeah, we definitely got the money. All right. We could, we could do uh, player-made quests in Neverwinter, and some of them were silly, some of them were epic, some of them were fun. Alright, so one dolly. Purchase. Do you want me to bring these trailers back first, or... No. No, you can... Up. It's up to you. Either leave them there and bring those back and test, or not. It's kind of your choice in that regard since you're driving. Okay. I'm gonna drop these off and get the other set up and bring it down. Um, and there we go. That leaves us four grand. This may yes. be bad. 
I think, uh, you know, I don't think that's bad at all. <laughs> I'm trying to juggle them, these two. I had While three, on, but I lost one of them. While I'm waiting on D-Swank, I'm going to give you a courtesy view, since I can do that. A what? Courtesy view. A courtesy view? Yes, I am going to log in to Twitch and watch your channel while I'm streaming. Aw, thanks, Fuzz. Because I should have done that earlier, but I, I was kind of into what we were doing at the time. Hee <laughs> hee. I understand. Back. I appreciate it. Certainly. You do the same for me. Uh-huh. Okay, so, Fuzz, here's what I've done. All right. I smoothed the road through 23, through 24, down through... 34, 44, 45, and connected it up at 46 where, with the main road. Yeah. And then I went up into 36 and did that cross section that goes through 35 over to 34. And that's where I left off. That's fine. It was because uh, between 56, 46, 36, and all, and it's all clear already. Ah. So yeah, that's awesome. How much did that cost you total? Uh, I don't know. Maybe like uh, maybe three grand at the, at the most. I don't think that's accounted for. Wait, why is there a loan here? Who took the loan? I don't know. I didn't know you could take loans. I think yeah. that's counted. I think that's counted under the construction costs, maybe. But the construction costs is not broken down because I bought that uh, that wash station. But if I took that out, which was forty five, about five thousand dollars ish, in uh, road construction. Not bad. Yeah. That's that's cheap road construction. All I did was smooth it too. Yeah. That's fine. Hey, here comes the truck. Yay, because I'm about to lose my load. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn, Andra. <laughs> no, seriously, look. One of my sticks is, like, barely there. Okay, that's just getting terrible. It could be worse because it logs. <laughs> no, sticks are worse. I want to turn this around. Yep. I'm trying to get and I lost the, it. the way the fact I've got two hinge points. One with the fifth wheel and one on the yeah back of the truck. I lost right. it. She lost the Oh, look at that big old! Look at that boy! Look at that boy! Hey, that boy! Ha ah, ah, ha! Hey, that big old boy right there! I had to pick my cat. Thank you. You were right. all over on his back, just waiting to be petted. Uh, Daniel, can you see if you pick up that one with by hand? I'm going to go get heavy? the other too heavy. Okay. Other dollies. Alright. You can bring them with... over and park them next to the power washer because we need to wash those anyway. Yeah. I turn around and get up to go get a drink. Yeah. And I see Big Orange just laid over on his back staring at me. Aww. My dogs are asleep by now. Now we don't have to worry about these things uh, changing direction, and we had a we have a defined spot. And there's a name for that uh, that 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 break, that head break, that grate that's in front of the trailer. That yeah. A lot, a lot of, that a lot of lug truck log trucks have, and I forget what the name of it is. But anyway. There it is. That's the command I needed. You gonna put that big one on there? Yep. All right, go for it. I'm gonna put up the little I'm one. Uh, that's too much. There we go.
I feel like smaller logs should go on the one that... The black ones. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. And, like, logs that are short enough that we can cut them in half, because the, the trailers do behave better when they're independent trailers and not... Yep. Tandem? Yeah. All right, looks like looks like logs are getting slightly sparse out here. I got a small pile of them here and two or three over there. Well, I tried to make them into piles with the tractor earlier. Yep. So they're easier to find and I don't have to dig for the damn things. You know, Fuzz. Yes. How would you feel if like, okay, we're digging, we're getting, we're getting the, the, the trees up and everything in this area. And I figure once we get 22, when we start running low on 22, we're probably going to buy 12. Um, but how would you feel about this being like the storage area for vehicles and things? Oh, that's fine. Because it uh... has that feel to it. Yeah, that's fine, because the, uh, the lake is where the uh, homestead's going to be. Yeah. I think I was mentioning something of that caliber before. I am thinking ahead. Yep. If this is kind of how we're going to set up the two uh, trailers and kind of in the area that uh, where this one's parked and once Daniel finishes spraying the other one down. Yep. Um, up, 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 up. And we're up. Oh. I figured this, it makes sense to start putting the, uh, the lights down. Yeah. Thundra, what are you doing? Are we're you not ready to load that one yet, Thundra. Oh. Do I need to load this on the other one? Yes. Okay. No. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, trailer. if you want to make a stack right behind where I'm chopping them, you can go ahead. That's what. These are all smaller brand ones. And I thought we were loading them on the black one. Well, we are inevitably, but we're not doing it yet. Okay. The black one's not ready to be loaded yet, though. That's the problem. Cause it's getting a bath. Yes. That's, that's almost like taking a bath. It's one of my reasons I don't like taking a bath. When you take a bath, you are sitting in your own filth the whole time you're trying to wash. The only time I take that's a bath... you shower before you bathe. <laughs> exactly. Or, or, you know, just shower and be done. <laughs> well, one is, one is for relaxing enjoyment. It's like getting into a... Pool. A tiny swimming pool because you can't All afford right. a full size one. Alright, so so here's a here's a little thing. I don't like baths to begin with because I'm not really a water dog of sorts. Um and my ex thought it was completely okay to just jump right into a bath and then go to bed. No. And it was disgusting. I hated it. The only way I go straight into a bath in bed means I took a shower that before at hand. <laughs> yeah, no. My experience with baths, outside of being a child and not giving a damn, was that. So I have a terrible aversion to baths and a terrible idea towards baths. I am very much a shower man, thanks to all that. 
and I do not see the act of bathing in that respect as relaxing. I constantly feel like I'm just sitting in my own filth no matter what now, and I just don't like it. So, how do you feel about swimming pools? Not a big fan. Hey, Fuzz. How you doing down there? Uh, getting tipsy. How you doing? Oh, not bad, considering I'm up in the top of a tree. What? Oh, <laughs> I see you. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's a glitch or is that intended, but sometimes you can climb a damn tree. Yeah. Well, no, the thing is, if the tree fell and literally landed on two trees. Oh, I had an incline? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you, you can climb a pretty damn steep incline. I wonder if that's the reason you can occasionally climb a tree, because it's counting as an incline. Not sure. You know what I'm okay. Sandra? Yeah? Um, we can start loading up the small black one now. Yeah. But you need to be careful when putting stuff in it because we don't want to have we're going to want to cut them well, so they're not like both. Well, why don't we go ahead and separate the trailers then so I can have a, a point to work with. It becomes kind of annoying. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if you want to do the big ones like I'm doing, I will do that over there because I already have some practice doing that. Well, I'll put this last one over there in the small pile because this one's kind of small. Actually, this one's kind of long. This one may be big enough for that one. Nah, it's too, it's too, it's too skinny. Don't worry about the skinniness of it. Oh, the length of the match is the trailer. Yeah, you can go throw that one in. I'm trying to get some spotlight set up for when the nightfall comes. Uh huh. It's fast approaching. Come on, controls behave. All right, that that post for light seem kind of it's out of the way, but it it's lighting up what looks like a relatively good area. For both, both right. trailers. Okay. All right. So, is lower deck CBS access only still? Yes. It's so like for the first episode. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up because I'm hearing a lot of good stuff and a lot of Easter eggs, and I, I like I, that guy behind it. Basically, what I have heard about it. Out of the way. Is that it's not. Trekky enough to be good Star Trek, and it's not funny enough to be good comedy. I will make my own decisions, but I understand that. Whoops! God, this is so hard to do in first person. And and that it it'd be good. I mean, if you had a good co if it was funny. Basically, what I'm hearing is if people found if it was funny, the fact that it's not. Trekky enough to be Trek would be okay. Or yeah. if it was Trekky enough to be Trek and it was funny, or it wasn't funny, it would be okay. But the problem is it missed the mark on both. Well, who's giving my, my thing is if it wasn't called Star Trek, then I would have no problems with it. I mean, the It just falls really, really flat for me, and you guys know how easily I get amused. Alright, well, here I come. Well, I'm gonna get around to it because, again, the creators I'm aware of and enjoy their style of humor. And I could give a rat's ass of whether it's 100% tricky or not because it is lower decks. It's not going to be tricky. Well, if you want, I have CBS All Access. I can let you watch it. Hey, Fuzz? Yep. Um, you want to get this one about middle because it's a bit too much for the little one to grab? Yep. 
uh, keep in mind, weight matters. If it's kind of heavy, grab it towards the weight again. You can go ahead and let it down. Come on, let go. Let go. Thank but you. See, this, one I, of the masterminds behind Lower Decks is the same masterminds behind Rick and Morty. And I love Rick and Morty. Well, the, re yeah. the reason... And Rick and Morty is good because it doesn't... It's Rick and Morty. Because it... it I, it's its own thing. Yeah. But I think if you tried to take Rick and Morty and skin it as Star Trek, it would suck. Yes. I I understand that for one reason. Uh, what was it called? There was a series that was a Hulu exclusive about aliens living on Earth, blah, 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 blah. I forget what it was called. It wasn't great. It really wasn't great. It's, it's almost like to try to capture that flavor of Rick and Morty again. Oops, I missed yeah. stripping the rift. Oh, God. Yeah. We need to watch that. <laughs> I, I, um, and my, my problem with, from what I have, I've only seen the first episode of uh, uh, Lower Deck. I was not impressed. And because there there's a lot of humor that they could go with that is based off of Star Trek. Okay. And it's like they don't use any of the humor that it could that's a Star Trek thing. It's it's much more of yeah, I got the feeling it's much more of if they, if somebody did an animated Friends with a, a, a dark twist and gave it a a Star Trek skin. Okay. That's the way it came across to me. And it, it just, it it felt more like it is, they put Star Trek on it just to Catch try attention. and get people to watch Star Trek to watch it. They didn't put Star Trek on it because it was connected to Star Trek, other than just yeah, and and that that's I I I didn't find it the humor in it funny. I found the humor in it on the same level as Family Guy. Oh God. Okay. Yeah. If it's Family Guy humor, I'm not going to like it. It's not Family Guy humor, but I felt it was on the same level as Family Guy. Alright. Yeah, that that will turn me off pretty damn fast. That, that it, it is, there you, you know, it, the cheap gag. Yeah. More so than anything else. No, I can understand that. If, it, if it's that... I'm not interested... <laughs> Yeah, which is really sad because you take the man behind Family Guy and watch the Orville, and holy shit! Yeah, you know? I, I felt that the Orville was a funnier Star Trek comedy than having just seen the first episode of the Orville. Really? Just seen the fir first okay. episode of okay. the Orville. Okay. We're watching the Orville. Yes, because I've never seen it. We're finishing Babylon 5. Yes. Yeah, we're at, after B5, we're watching Orville. Okay. I But I found, having only watched the first episode of both, I found the Orville to be a funnier Star Trek yeah. than Lower Deck. Yeah, no, I fully understand that. Orville, Orville is a true love letter to the original Star Trek series. It's it's Cat McFarlane's humor in it. You can't avoid that. That's him. Yeah. But it is so subjugated. I guess that's the right word. It is so far removed from the rest of the series, which is a true love letter to the original series of Star Trek, that you kind of just ignore it and enjoy the series that's there. Yeah. So I, 
And again, I can't say much because I I can't. Yeah. I've only watched the first episode of both. Right. Well, I mean, comparing first episodes, I haven't seen the first episode of Lower Decks. And honestly, after this, I'm willing to sit down and watch it just to see what all the hoobob is about. I Honestly, I liked, uh, but of course I also thought Orville was a better Star Trek than Discovery. So, well, I haven't okay. seen any of Discovery yet. So I need to send you the, a link to a couple of things that I sent Daniel yesterday. Oh, Hold God, on. yeah. They're hilarious. <laughs> but no, Orville, or or Orville is fantastic. It's been greenlit for its third and fourth season, and I can't wait for them. No. Oh. Okay. Uh, I. You know what? I'm gonna alt tab out for a second. Okay. And that sounded really, really weird. And, and go ahead, before I forget. Well. And, and link a couple of videos that I saw. Alright. So, how much of Rick and Morty have you seen, these way? I would say... You don't want my answer for that question. I know it's going to be none. No. No. Five episodes. No. Oh, well. I, I watched. I, I I would. I would probably say in total somewhere around two seasons, but not necessarily like season one and two, sort of thing. Mine was the first five episodes. <laughs> That's because a set of episodes to watch. I've seen a bunch of the first season, and then I missed a huge amount, and then I've seen. You know, the, the RNG episode selection that you get on television? Yeah. yeah. In no particular order? Well, I mean, as random as a lot of it is, there is background subplots going, or a main plot yeah. going amongst the subplots. Okay, uh, something I would like to do, I'm going to go ahead and lash this load. Yep. Because it's about 50% and see how well the truck handles it. Hold on, man. Hold on. Daniel, how much of Rick and Morty have you seen? Uh, I have no clue, honestly. Uh, I didn't even realize it was still going all these years later. Yeah, it's... Uh, I think it's been heading for a fourth season. Um... Dan Harmon was not thrilled about doing a fourth season, so I'm a little bit scared about a fourth season. He really didn't want to do a third, and quite frankly, it shows. So, um... I don't know. You want some fun stuff? <laughs> a little bit! Okay, yeah, um... Dude? Yeah? The truck is pulling this beautifully. Okay. Still want to upgrade the truck just so it looks better. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, but what I'm saying is that what we probably should do is um, when we get the uh, to the point where we're buying the new truck, yeah, go ahead and buy another trailer and okay, uh, dial it. Yeah, I can see that. I will say this. Um, Fuzz? That one's long enough to go on the white trailer. I just, there's no way I can lift over oh. those poles. You see what was okay. happening to me. Okay, okay, okay. So, since we know both pickup trucks are going to be plenty good, do we want to actually upgrade and completely retire Thunder Small tractor? And just get another one that I'm currently driving. Uh... So I can do the stumpies and pick up the big logs. Right. Now, granted, I do believe that's going to be after the land purchase because yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. think land purchase probably should be the next one. Yeah, definitely land purchase. Then maybe the, upgrade Thunder's tractor. Yeah. No, I I think land purchase, upgrade Thunder's tractor, 
then the get and a, another truck and then when we get the other truck we can get the other the back can start pulling the the semi trailer yep this one can go back pulling the other ones until we get enough to get another dolly and trailer all right that way like we've retired the little th uh thunder tractor at that point daniel and i are driving the trucks and I got my, and, and I can do the stump and everything else, and get the big logs without tipping over. Right. Yeah, I don't want to sell anything just because I want to see the progress and them just sitting in a graveyard of. Okay, we've made these. We did these. The we thing is, uh, we can still Plus, use the same weight. Could be a backup. At that yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, wonder Thunder, something. Could, could you move? Yeah. yeah. Uh, because you were parked right where I was going to be. <laughs> yeah, I'm going back over here. I want to see something. Though I will be right back because that's my munchkin. Yep. Uh, you know what? Uh, you want to take this bunch of scraps here? Yeah. Sure. Go ahead. Load. Load that up. How do I? Do I need to readjust, or am I good? Uh, just just back it up a little. You know what? No, actually, pull forward a little bit. Because I can't pull forward with this mass in front of me, and I'm going to have to go around anyway. All right. Uh, would it be better if I basically turned around and came in behind you? Probably. Okay, I'll do that. Actually, thinking about it, Oh. You got two sticks there. Yep. How much farther do I got? Right up to about here? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I got that much farther to go. What I was thinking, Fuzz. Uh huh. Worst case scenario with the the little tractor. Uh huh. Well the little tractor can our can be our beginnings to the fields to get into husbandry. Yeah, well, that, or, we give it, it uh, this, this. we, it's basically the what, do yeah. everything tracker. Yeah. That, uh, like, when we're, uh, after we've started the smaller uh, hunks of wood and stuff. Yep. Uh, putting those on the tractors, or on those little black trailers. Yep. The small tractor would be perfect for dragging those damn things. Yeah. Yeah, because all in all, it's all about forestry in this. Husbandry and all that other stuff is just because... Yeah, Why not? To, uh, kind of break the monotony a bit. Yeah. I wonder something, though, about this particular tractor. If this is the case, then I may not need another tractor. What's that? The back of the tractor has the same attachment as the front of that one does. Oh, the, uh... I mean, it, maybe. Put a hook up and you can run it. Go with it. That's what I'm going to find out. That's what I'm working on. Guess what? What? <laughs> Look at me go! Alrighty. <laughs> I get little, and then I get stumped. I get little, then I get stumped. I can push the logs out of the front, and I cut the stumps with the back. <laughs> I knew the little, the little one could hold it, because I was using the little one before. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Hey, nobody say nothing. <laughs> I, I ain't nobody saying a damn thing. I like the tough dog at the top. Do it the tough bee. <laughs> we you like hockey, Sandra. First. Yep. This this trailer with the dolly uh -huh. hooks on to the pickup truck with a ball hitch. Yep. 
you remember the Continental? <laughs> the Continental has a ball hitch. Uh, you know, I even asked you if you wanted me to go ahead and download that. I, I kind of do now. <laughs> because I want to see. Because I can guarantee you that's just a reskinned pickup truck. Yeah. I I still I want to see. Yep. Yep. Nope. All you had to do was ask. <laughs> cool. Well, you know how we were saying that all of us were eventually going to get our own vehicles. Yep. Nah. Well, um. Like personal vehicle cruise yep. around the farm, man. There. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I know what I want. I want the truck you're in, so that's fine with me. Okay. And I know Daniel wants the King Cab or the, uh, I think it was the King Cab, wasn't it, Daniel? Crew Cab. Yeah, same thing. Depends on which brand. First, and, huh? it might be time to turn your headlights on. It's getting there, yeah. It's a little brighter for me just because of my monitor. Yeah. That's why I'm looking at my stream and seeing how well it's looking there, too. There is one problem with doing it this way. What's that? I can't close the fork. Huh? Why not? What? Because it uses the same control as controlling the stump does. Well, I mean, if you hit G, you can switch between your uh, two tools. Uh. Ah! Okay. Okay, I see how you have to do it. I see how you have to do it. You've got three tools. I forgot that this is technically three tools, not two. Yep. So yep. I, I didn't, wasn't on the right one. So now I... I yeah, this is going to be fun. Yeah. This is going to be fun for me. Uh, who knows? Well, I doubt the... Uh, I was about to say, who knows, maybe the uh, the stump grinder is heavier than attachment, but I think we bought the 11K attachments. And I doubt that thing's 11K. Uh, okay. Well, I'll be able to do that. Mm -hmm. No. So yeah, I can take the little stump thingy, go around, pick up little logs, and stump grind on the same vehicle. There you go. At any time, then, if you want to start loading, I'll go cut trees. I'm good. You have no clue what I've been working on since uh, you guys have been over there. Yeah, and yeah, I, know exactly, I, know, I know exactly what you're doing. <laughs> Hi, Dee Thank you, Dee Swank. What? What's this Swank doing? He just followed me. Oh, wasn't that sweet? Creepy. Stalker ass. No. <laughs> yeah, baby. Let's see if I get. Well, let's see if I get to a moment. Oh, yeah, right. that's oh, beyond that. Whoop. Hey. 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 Wait, wait, wait. What? 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 I. It's already late. Frickin' crap. Yeah. Wargaming is, is making me jump through hoops to link to my Twitch stuff again. Oh, fun. I, I, I might as well do it, though, because I, I have the Battleship Massachusetts for rent. Yeah. For free. And if I remember correctly, the Massachusetts is the moneymaker. I guess. It, it, it's it got a stupid high bonus for uh, coinage. 
Okay. So, you know, these one, you asked us all that one question, but you haven't answered your own question. Oh. Uh. Well, it. Difficult question, isn't it? Yeah. Tricorder. Tricorder could be cool. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Phaser could be cool. Oh, you know what? You know what I want? You know what I want? I know what I want. I want the lens thing that changes you from human to Mambari to Mambari to human or whatever the fuck that thing was. Hybrid. Well, that and the whole structure that she used to cocoon herself. Thundra, this area hasn't been cleared yet. Why are you trying to get yourself stuck? I'm not getting myself stuck. I know what I'm doing. Really? Because I haven't even told Fuzz that I'm done over here yet. He hasn't seen. I know. I was going for your stump. See the stump? Yeah. Hey! He's going for stop. your stump, man! He's going for your stump! You should stop and wait until I get Fuzz over here. Okay. I gotta look hey, for more stumps. What? what, else? <laughs> what? Come here a moment. Membari uh, bike would be cool. Ooh, yeah, it would. Mm. Um, PPG would be cool, but unfortunately, I mean, the cap issue, the faster issue. Well, dude, uh, using your own damn um, <clears throat> rules, you could pour, you could pull an ooh amount of caps out. True. I, I brought it all the way back to the property line. Okay. All the way up to the property line. So this is roughly the corner right here? Yep. Okay. So, yeah, caps would be... So all these trees that have that are fallen? Yep. How about back this way? Have you made it to the property line this way yet? I'm hugging the property line. Like this tree that I'm cutting down right now? It's okay. Just on the inside of our property line. All right, because I'm running towards the other corner right now. Yeah. Let's see. No, I wanted to finish getting this corner cut up and then show you where, where you have another huge section of logs. But it doesn't feel like we have a lot of logs, mainly because there is so much space between them. Yeah, the but point. once you sell them all and you realize how much we spent in between, it's like, oh shit. Yeah. And then you have the, all the logs on the other side of the property. Yeah, Which right. we're going to buy before we do anything else. Oh, yeah. you mean back over here to the other side? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's from where I'm standing down to the bottom of the property. That ain't a lot of trees. Because I'm looking down through here and there is a lot of space between. Yeah. I, I realize that, but it was a lot of space in between the ones on the other property, too. No, there wasn't. <laughs> yeah, it was. But anyway, doesn't matter, because we're still buying property. But, um, yeah, I, I dumped all the trees on this side, so they're all ready to get picked up and sorted. Okay. I fell them all in the same direction, too, so it should be easier to pick them up. Should be. Huh? The gravity gun from Half-Life would be kind of... Oh, if it worked a little more realistically and not relied heavily on the moon dust, the portal gun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was thinking, you know, using these rules, um, you've got the the the, we ink, need a... the ink gun from ink? Splatoon. Oh yeah. That so would be I, you get one of those, and instead of filling it with ink, fill it with moon dust paint. Yeah. Get one of their sniper rifles, so like you could snipe and then fire your your portal, portal. gun. Yeah. You know, speaking of portal, we really need to sit down and do the multiplayer thing. Yeah. yeah. Now the real question is, since it's two-player multiplayer, who's the two that get to do that? Buzz and Buzz. Buzz and Thunder. Hmm? What? Why is, my get, why is my name getting thrown around that often? You brought the idea up, and I have not. I have yet to do a collaboration with just me and you. Same for me and D Swank. 
Well, I mean, here's the thing. I would be happy to do it with your channel, Thundra, and I'll be happy to do it with your Thundra, uh, 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 channel, these way. I don't plan on recording it or streaming it because I've already done it. And I'm going to stay quiet through most of it and let y'all figure that shit out. Yeah, him playing with me wouldn't work too well because we both have beaten the game multiple yeah. times. <laughs> I've beaten I've, the I've beaten single the player. Game. Yeah, I've beaten the single player and the bullet. Me, me and D, uh, 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 Draco's done the multiplayer in it all the way through. Okay. So, Thundra, what he's saying is we need to do the yeah. multiplayer. That's yeah, what that's sounds like. what it sounds like. That and we were here and we were here too is still on our to-do list. Or, you know, maybe we need to sit down and do the It's Better Together map. See if it still works in Minecraft at this point. Fuzz? Yep. You and I need to continue the We Were Here series. Yeah, so since we started it. We started it. Everyone, all the others, you have to find someone else to run it with. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you played Portal, hadn't you? What, me? Yeah. Yeah, no, I've I played Portal 1 and 2. I've yeah. played single player. Uh, multiplayer is probably going to be very similar, except no. you're going to have to have things no, it's not similar. two sets of people that can shoot portals. So you, you're going to have yes, to... Yes and no. Yes and no to that. I, I was just thinking, like, the you use one person to block the turrets with the, the, uh, the light wall, and somebody else does all right. kill all the right. turrets. All right, so so early early ones, yeah, but later on, no, 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 it it gets tough. Yeah, it gets I tough because there's a lot of timing involved, and yeah, yeah, but it's also frustratingly fun. Strap that shit down and take off, man. Okay. While I take an orange behind off my desk. And then run off to take a fuzzy break. Uh, I'll be right back. You did a great job with the roads, Daniel. That this is quite helpful. You're welcome. <laughs> well, the, it bugged me that we could see the roads on the map, but we couldn't see them in game with the grass. Yeah. yeah. I I noticed that. I just assumed it was a load of error. So that's why I just flatten the grass along the roads. Because I, ha I get that um, at the uh, uh, the turn in point for wood. Yeah, it's covered in grass. The concrete there. Oh, you want me to hit that too? No, because it's not doing it now. It was doing it my first load. Hey, as I went through and smoothed two of the roads that head over to where we are. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> We're having some serious glitches with this. Uh oh! Did Ghost Thunder disappear? I think it did. Yeah, but now real Thundra is uh having a log. It's that's, it is yeah. having a log that's playing dance with me. <laughs> All right. So where's that? Okay. So the tractor we're driving now, the Fiat, the bigger one, with the... Ah, oh, crap. What? The fact, you didn't load the road, smooth the road particularly well. In what section? Uh, where the truck has rolled over. 
Need thunder assist? I need... I probably need both tractors, honestly. Coming. I'm trying to figure out where on the road he is. There he is. All right, we need 35-5 to get another tractor like I'm driving. Yeah, I hit a bump, and the uh, the trailer shoved the track the, the truck to the right. And when I tried to fix, catch it, the whole thing just went. Nah, you're falling over. I wonder if that's going to happen with the semi once we get one. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. There's a lot more weight in the semi, so yeah. I almost feel like I do need to reload because I'm even I'm starting to see glitchy, dancey. Mogs? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Fuzz? Yep. I might need your tractor as well as Thunderous to get both the truck and the trailer right side up. Okay. I'm paying over there now. Well, how about we sell once we get these swing back up and get the logs back in if we need to. Go sell that wood, then re-log, because then there'll be a point of saved. Probably not a bad idea. Because dancing logs, ghost thundra. <laughs> ghost thundra is gone. Yeah. I know, but the fact that when it disappeared is when the real thunder start having serious problems <laughs> with dancing logs. Oh my gosh. That's 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 gonna be your name. Dances with logs. <laughs> Dances with logs. Hey, I c I couldn't name that that for the character. I couldn't think of the name for. There you go. Dances with logs. You're gonna, you're gonna have to figure out why your name is that though. Well, just long just long enough for it, for him or her to die. Yep. Yeah, there's a road that goes off that way, but I didn't smooth that. Oh my gosh, yeah. D-Swank. I'm going to have to take the stump off of this thing in order to do this. Fuzz. Ah! Oh, hello. <laughs> Fuzz! Don't worry about it. You're okay. Alright. Okay. No, no. Don't come at me from that side. Yep, wrong side. What I'm going to do is I am going to disconnect the truck... Well, before you do that, before you do that. Okay, you're going to try and just roll the everything? Yep. Might be better to try and roll the trailer instead of me. Oh, you are trying to roll the trailer instead of me. Here I come. Might need some thunder help. Thunder's coming. Maybe just a little bit. Yep, you need to prop that up. There you go. Uh, there you go. Yeah, yep, there we go. Teamwork! Uh, now I gotta go forget my attachments again. <laughs> right. I'll give you some light. Break off the road. <laughs> I'll give you some light. Ah! Uh. Thank you. Yep. Welcome. Uh, the hey, I don't feel like we're even going all that fast. No, I believe that. I mean, you, you're carrying a lot of damn weight there. Alright, got that. Lift it up so I can oh, move. Oh, 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 oh. Let's not wag the dog too much. Uh, you're almost there. I, I was about to ask if you needed us to follow you. Nah, I'm almost there. But the, no, the, the problem is it's also getting dark enough that I'm not able to really get a good visual on how they, uh, the the whole load is behaving behind yeah. me. Yeah. You're good. Yeah. As much as I love that truck, I think we probably should get the uh, the end game model uh, crew cab. Well, we need to compare its motor size. It's its horsepower first. Yeah. But just because. Yeah, just because we know that the crew cap one will take all four of us. Okay, the Lizard Rodeo pickup is 200 horsepower. The Endgame nice. crew cab 
All right, let's try a relog and see if we can fix some of these problems. 2014, which is the one that I wanted, is 300 horsepower. I'm going to park it right next to yours, Fuzz. And that is the end game one, you said? That is the crew cab. Okay. So it's a little stronger. And then the XL version, which is a modded truck, is like 340. So it's only marginally stronger. Yeah. So yeah, I, I say we pick up the end game one, just so we can use the uh, the the drive with me, ride with me setup. Yeah. And the uh, lizard flatbed mm -hmm. is 400 horsepower. Yeah. Yeah, but there's a good chance that the. Then again, it depends on the modder. That looks yeah. because the, the whole point of that secondary mod, the uh, the ride with me or whatever it's called. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Log out and restart. That's yep. the idea. We're going to do that. All right. Everybody out the pool. All right. I am uh, leaving. I'm at the pool. And while that's being itself, let's put that up there. And I'm going to check and make sure I actually have that second mod. Alright. Before we jump back in? Alright. Well, if we're looking at mods, do we want... Go go ahead and grab the, um... Sure. The, the... Lizard Continental. Might as well. I'm gonna go ahead and completely quit the game because of how silly this game could be with that. Yeah. I grabbed the, I grabbed the road... Uh, Road Rage. Road Rage? Road Rage. Oh, the Mustang. The not Mustang. Yeah. <laughs> is that is that going to be your personal vehicle? Because mine's going to be the, the Lizard Rodeo. <laughs> well, at some point in time, I need to adjust. Uh... Well, about the only problem with it is that it doesn't have a trailer hitch. But it's got like 450 horsepower. <laughs> Are you sure it doesn't have a trailer hitch? Yeah, it, it's on the features. It doesn't say it has a trailer hitch. Oh, okay. Well, then it's completely useless then, other than being awesome. All right, let's, let's go to mods, trucks, uh, cars. Grab the Continental, install. And it does have a trailer hitch and a front end attachment. What? horsepower, <laughs> eighty miles per hour. 35,000, main color, trailer hitch, front attachment, and interior decoration. Yep, so you can attach a trailer hitch and a front end attachment on <laughs> It's probably some sort of grill. Mm. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, all right. And you said you are going to get the uh, Road Rage? Uh, I already have the Road Rage installed, but I want the truck because the truck is what I, I want to go. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and grab it just because... Um, do we want the Ute at all? Does anybody want the Ute, the TEG 3.11? I have to look and see what it is first, honestly. Because part of the TGE 3.10. Yeah, that's the Ute. I'm looking at what's next to it, honestly. The 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 Sacroc 4x4. Four four four. Four. Yeah. I'm kind of kind of drooling a little bit over that. Now it has animated tailgate, increased braking power, fixed reflectors and mirror. Oh, this is a big stuff. Added right. pedals. It should not clip through the ground anymore. <laughs> you know what? No, no, I am not. I am not. I tell you, I tell you though, the X, the the TLX 2020 series has a bunch of roll off attachments that might be kind of handy. Yeah. 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 The linear all track, all all track pack. Uh, no, no. no. Uh, the, the, the the yellow one that is similar. TLX twenty twenty series. Yeah, it's got a bunch of roll off pieces that could be very useful. Yeah, I've got that installed. Just nobody ever wanted to use it. So. Oh, <laughs> you didn't say it. Oh. Well, I figured we were done with vehicle mods until you guys started talking about adding the... Uh... I'm, I'm never done with vehicle mods. I want more vehicle mods. Um, okay. to be honest... Well, my stuff is reloaded, so... 
Yeah, because the, the yeah. TLX looks better than the lin linear. That thing's ugly. But that's all I'm adding. The TLX, the Continental, and the Road Rage. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have those, and you know what to do. Uh, the names of them one more time, please. TLX. All right, let me find Which, that one. If you go into the cars section. Yep. TLX. Search. 2020. Yep. If you go into the cars section, they're all right there. Yeah, there aren't many cars in there. There's, yeah, there's only like a dozen. All right. And because Steam is funny with this whole game, exiting Steam. Car. Rebooting Steam. Yeah, there's like a single page worth. And we got more than half of them now. <laughs> um. Alright. So if you're looking at it, if you're looking at it, the TLX 2020 with the multiple roll-off attachment. Yeah. Uh, the Continental, which looks like a, a, well, a Continental. Continental. I can't spell. <laughs> You shouldn't have to spell. It should be right there in the um, the page with the rest of the cars. It looks like a car, an actual yeah. car instead of the trucks. That yeah, are like around a, it. Looks like a Ford Lincoln or an Oldsmobile Continental or um, what else has that same base? Cars. Okay, Lizard Continental. I see. Yeah. Uh, make sure you turn off popular, popular. Mods. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Should be down at the bottom. X, I believe, is default. It says show so. top mods only. Yep. Show all mods. If all you right. want to show all mods. So the Lizard Continental? Yep. Yes. Alright, so. And the Lizard Home Road Rage. Home Rage. Road Rage. Alright. Home Rage? Back. How about the uh, Lidner? Uh, how about Lidner Unitrack Pack? No, no, that's the one I was making fun of. We're we're doing the one that you were seeing initially, the X X something other twenty twenty. It's the yellow truck with all the all the standing attachments behind it. Road Rage. Yeah. Yep, Road Rage is one of them. How about uh, pickup twenty fourteen transport service? Uh, no. We do not have that one. Sky we have it grab, well, you might as well grab all of the all of the cars because we literally only have <laughs> one that we're not using. <laughs> well, no, technically four. <laughs> uh, how about the Sakurak 4x4? Four four? Yes. Well, here's, here's, here's the thing. What do you want as your personal vehicle? Because I think we've all just picked out our personal vehicles. I don't really like any of these. <laughs> well, if you okay, want me to be honest, <laughs> my well, okay, favorite vehicle so far is still the tractors. Okay, so this is what is installed: pickup radio. Okay. Lizard Continental. Got it. Fifth wheel hitch pack. Got it. TLX twenty twenty series. Got it. The TTHD flatbed. Uh, got it. Service pickup pack. Got it. Road rage. Got it. Lizard Rambler van. Got it. You're good to go. Restart everything. I'll see y'all back in the game. All right. I'm just waiting for you to start the game up. I'm heading that way. We make sure everything is still clicked because aha. Uh -huh. Deselect all. Select. What did I select everything? Okay. There we no, I didn't. Oh, no. That was my fault the whole damn time. What? The Universal Passenger Vehicles of Mod Loader was never selected. Ah. Shame on you, Fuzz! Shame! Yes, I know. <laughs> Let me <laughs> scroll through and make sure everything is clicked. I think there were two uh, passenger mods that we needed together. Yeah. Uh, there's the first one, which is passenger, whatever, and then the one for mod, whatever. Yeah. Alright, looks like everything's clicked this time. 
continue. Start. Start. Right. You know, they really shouldn't put the word start until you can actually start the map. <laughs> Do you want to start the preload? No, I want to play the game. <laughs> it's like, hi, here, hello, continue, okay, start, okay, start, okay, start! No. Okay. <laughs> uh, universal passenger I didn't have. Load, 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 start? Yes, please, start! You need that. You, yeah, you need that. Universal's passenger, you didn't say, was on the car page. Uh, no, I don't think it was on the car It's not on the car page. What is that part of What is that artifact? What is that out for? What kind of... I got a small graphical artifact. Yeah. It, it's four lights, like four blips, four graphical blips. Two of them on, and two of them are off. Hang on. Just realized my stream is not started back. There we go. It, it's just, I, I don't, is that from the tractor? I don't know. I don't, I can't Where? see your blips. I'm not seeing it. Let me open up Twitch on my other screen and see if I can see what we're talking about. Yeah, I think that's going to be... Oh, no, no. It, I bet those disappear at night. Like, it, when daylight comes up. You think so? Yeah, I bet those are supposed to be like lightning bugs. Yeah. Uh... Like lightning bugs. Wait. Uh... No, no, no. Yeah, you see it now, don't you? Yeah, well, at that angle, I'd say yes. But when you got down onto the ground, no, they don't really. Yeah, no, I that that's that's a graphic from a. Hang on a second. Where's my there's my tractor? Scare me for a second. No, there's nothing on here that would make that. That's weird. I wonder what that is. Is it maybe my uh, Thunder ponytail he head or something? No, no it, it looks like it's intended to be something on the uh, no connection could be side. established. I had, I had to re enter the path. Oh, no. Same with mine. Maybe we need to fully quit the game. Oh, that's why I I've had to do everything. I fully quit Steam and restarted Steam, so. Uh, <laughs> re enter the password completely? Oh, yeah. Um. Huh. Did you break it again, Fuzz? Probably. Because you know sometimes these mods take a second to actually load if you don't do them if you do them too quickly. Uh, let me see if these are in the cars. Uh, let's see here. There's the pickup truck. There's that. There's that. Oh, well, there's the 2020, there's a Rambler, there's a Continental, Road Rage, Rodeo, everything's here. Checking uh, mods, no updates. I wonder if I, it might be my end, because I didn't, 100, I don't think I can 100% quit the game. Or no, because I quit Steam. Alright, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. Just because. You know, honestly, again, if this game took as long as GTA 5 did, there'd be no way in hell I'd play it. Yeah, especially with the many times is you have to restart for each of the mods and everything else. Yeah, but because it loads up as quickly as it does... I don't mind a slight frustration around the mod issue. And then you have games like, you know, speed. <coughs> but anyway, um, let me quit uh -huh. again. What game are you playing that that happens? Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Uh, yes, exit now. Thank you. All right, so completely exit the steam. Oh, you know what? It might be update. Let me go back and check the mods when the game pops back up. So, whoever just popped in and hopefully has not been run off by the fact that I had to go to a be right back screen. Hello and welcome to random drunk yeah. Shillelay? What? Chill stream. Chill stream. Shillelay stream. Shillelay stream? Shillelay stream. I saw I saw a uh, animated spell book about Shillelay. Apparently he liked that spell quite a bit. Because you could do something to any random object to make it basically a weapon better than a... Masterwork. It's supposed to be a masterwork. No, not... Not not masterwork. Better than an improvised weapon. Um, no, no updates required. All right, relaunch on uh, Steam. Uh, I should there. I should get one of those images back. where where you like you have the B right back. back soon, and I have the stream uh -huh. starting soon one because yeah. I don't have. I will put one yeah. technical difficulties. Please wait. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I scrolling through, making sure everything's selected. Everything is selected. Continue. All that's good. Start. Let's see what sort of templates are there for pets? Pets. Templates. Templates for Pathfinder. I have, uh, I'm going, for, we have a, uh, uh, a game that, uh, Sparse and I are going to be in, mm -hmm. and it's, it's going to be somewhat isekai we're going to be, have somewhat of a free realm, reign, but, uh, we're going to be doing basically pre-built dungeons. Uh huh. But we uh, we can play as we're getting the option to gestalt, and yeah. we have fifteen hit die of uh, level adjustment slash uh, racial hit die that we can burn in building our base character, our our race. So I, you can be a templated up monstrosity. Yes, yeah, I'd like it. Interesting enough. Um, when's that starting? What day? I don't know. It's going to be one of our Saturday ones. Okay. Well, that, that says no for me. It sounds interesting though. I'm I'm really thinking about doing my uh, baleen whale thing. Okay. Like half dragon, anthrop, uh, uh, half dragon, uh, or no, it would be a celestial anthropomorphic baleen whale half dragon. Loading. This is reassuring. It's loading this time. Whoop. That's just a spot in the ground. Ah! Synchronizing data with players! Yay! Because it's a sign that I'm coming in. As I see Fuzz starting his rollover because of something, all of a sudden synchronized, he's frozen at a half spin. <laughs> Whee! I just drifted in a tractor. <laughs> but, yeah, um... We also have, it's going to be insane because we have like a, a 96.5. Holy crap! Wow. 96 even, for a Pathfinder game? Why are you even bothered playing Pathfinder at that point? 3.5. Oh. <laughs> uh. No, the Pathfinder is where if you have something in Pathfinder that you really like? Yeah. Yeah, you can you can play that. Okay, I got you. 
Alright. Uh oh. Uh. Uh. Okay. Uh, something's wrong with the house, the farm thing. No, it ain't. Then why can't I tap into a vehicle? Because all the vehicles are full. Yeah, we only have three vehicles. Well, can someone hop out so I can tab over, please? Nope. Please? They're being driven back. And they're all being driven back, Thundra. You're going to have to wait or either run yourself over. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to have to hoof it. Fuzz is almost back, so. Yeah, I'm just about there. Give me about ten seconds and you can jump in. Alright. So I'm all the way And back. jump in. Oops. <laughs> I learned something today. Don't hit shift and tap at the same time. Yeah, no, don't do that. <laughs> that being said, fuzzy break. Alright, you fuzzy break. That being said, the another one you can do is alt and F4 at the same time. No! But I'm going to turn the engine off so that it uh, doesn't die and waste gas. Oh, I forgot to sell the, the wood that was just in the bed of the truck. Oh, well. Where are you going with the tractor? Daniel? Off the edge of the world, why? This is my tractor! <laughs> no, it's a company tractor, Thunder. Yes, but it's a company tractor that I drive. Yeah, it's still a company tractor. Hey, Thundra. Yeah? Would you mind hopping out of that and seeing if Fuzz actually got something to work? Uh, sure. Come Please. over to the pickup truck. Ah, damn it. Get the wrong button. Let's see, where is the pickup truck? There's D Swank. There's Fuzz. Uh, I would what? love to, but I don't remember what the buttons are for that. Uh, and I've got to turn off. Control or Shift R. Is it shift R? What the hell am yeah, I doing? If the comes up, then it's shift R. So I've got to turn my I got to turn my hood back on. Oh, well, <laughs> is I that don't... your thunder? Yeah, it is your thunder. It's still not working. Okay, it's well, not at least sure. not on this truck. Let yeah. me let me see if it's a host thing, and I'll try it just for shits and giggles. Oh, uh, see if you have to... Uh, nope. Can't get in. Alright. Yeah, the prompt's not coming up. Well, that sucks. Well, it might just be this vehicle, so... It could be. We'll, uh, we'll get one of the King Cabs or the, uh, Continental and see what happens. Alright. So it's dark as shit out there. Uh, D Swing, you want to grab the pickup and move the uh, the light a little closer to our work area? Uh, which light? The one that's near the work area. Uh, Thundra, you better let Fuzz work on that one. That's a big log. I know. Uh, we'll do that. I wish this truck had some better lights on it. Rear. It's not me picking it up that I'm doing. I'm using the tractor to push it out of the way. Really? Because it looks like you're pulling it, not pushing it. Well, a little bit of both. I'm going after the stump behind it. She done got stumpy on us. Alright, Fuzz? Yep. I'm kind of bringing it over. I'm not sure where you want your the the light focused. Let me turn my light my light on and run out to where Daniel's kind of clear cut a little bit, and then I will be your guiding light. Yeah, it's over here. All right. That way. 
Yeah, kind of this area right here. Definitely okay, right. You might want to stop there and adjust it. Yep, that's good. All right. Yeah, that's that's pretty decent on that side. Yep, there you go. Thank you, sir. And y'all didn't want floodlights when I first mentioned them. Y'all, I hey, as long as I'm not included in the y'all, I'm fine. Okay. Because some, right someone was saying right no to, huh? As I right about here, ought to be a good cut point. Probably. But uh, yeah, you know where I'm going. Yeah, you're hitting thunder in the face with a log. I'll be all right. You're chilly. You're beating thunder in the face with your log. Yes. I never ah. said my stream was kid friendly. <laughs> or mine. In fact, I've said oh. just the opposite that mine wasn't kid friendly. Oh shit! I need to take a slightly less bigger bite out of that. Savage. You know, at any time that y'all want to run one of these tractors, just holler. Hey, I thought we are supposed to chill. I'm perfectly fine chilling in the pickup truck. Okay, if, if that's your chill, we're cool. I'm just saying. And my chill is tractor, which is why I was asking Daniel where was he going with it. Because I'm perfectly chill in a tractor, in a truck, walking around supervising. <coughs> Don't you ahem me. <coughs> Don't you ahem me. I'm not trying to ahem you. <coughs> oh, oh, she's trying, she's trying to try and cover it up now. Guys, <laughs> you might want to come over some more because you're yep. going to drop it on the strike yep. plate. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, wrong way. There we go. There we go. The majority of the, the trailers, the logging trailers in the area I grew up, yeah. That plate had been beaten off of. Yeah, most of the ones up here are the same issue. Ah, shit, that's too close. Oh, well. That'd be too right. close to what? Back end. You just can always just run your tractor up here and push yeah. it up. Yep, that's what I'm trying to circle around to do. Guys, yeah. yeah. take your tractor and push your log. Mm. I'm going to take my tractor and push you into my log. Because I'm holding it. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm on your log. You can push me. Bonk. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that works. There's something right there. While sitting here, not doing anything of any real important. I'm going to look at this. Uh... Ooh. 2020 single cab. Lizard statue, FS hat, fan, standard, okay. Trailer hitch. Oh, by the way, the um, the rodeo actually has a gooseneck attachment now. Really? Yep. Um, that was part of its update. Fuzz? Cool. Yep. When you bought the vehicle, did, did you happen to notice a section... That says Universal Passenger. No, I didn't. Was that an update? Uh, it's. I'm looking at the pickup, the 2014. Hang on, let me let me get to it. 2014. Ah, that that's a standard model. Yeah, it has the Universal Passenger, and it says farm only, disabled, or all users. Uh, let me actually look at the modded vehicle because I did not see that. 
because you may have said it to no nobody. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm looking at the rodeo. Has it? I'm looking at the rodeo, which is the vehicle we have now. Attachments, interior decoration, attachers, which is the gooseneck, and wheel setup. That's all the options I have. Yeah. Lift kit, standard. Yeah. Uh. Working lights, engine setup. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. The 2014 RF? 2014 RF. Yes. 2014 RF, you can have passengers in. The uh, 2014 XL, you can have passengers in. 20 XL. Which is a modded big black fifth, uh, double axle. Okay. Okay. Because there's a separate... Wait. Is the is the radio a a bench seat or? Uh, let's see. The van you can have passengers in. And maybe just that one vehicle. The Continental you can't oh. have no okay. passengers. All right. So if you look at the rodeo, it's a bench seat, not bucket seats. Where's the Continental? The road rage, no passengers in. And okay, it has to do with the seat because the Continental's bench seat too. And the TH uh, flatbed, no passenger. THD flatbed or TTHD flatbed. No okay, passenger. well that just blew it out of the water because that's bucket seats too. Uh, the base model uh, 1978 pickup can have passengers. Okay, I see. I guess it has people who's on board with using that and modding it with it. Yeah. Of course, the 1978 is a base model. Alright, well, we're we're planning on the, the 2014 Lizard, right? For our next purchase? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that works out. I, we could go with the XL uh, version. Because it has the fifth wheel as well. That's what I'm yeah, talking about. The, the, the pickup 2014 XL. So. We okay. tried the XL's fifth wheel uh, to attach to the trailer. It didn't work. We still need the dolly. Yeah. So, yeah, we know. We, we were accounting for that. In the future. Yeah. With the fifth wheel. Because then we could use this for, like, animal stuff as well. Yeah. The fifth wheel on that for animal stuff. So... Uh, all right, the uh, the 2020 does not allow for extra. Yeah. All right. So I did not notice that because we weren't looking at the other vehicles that closely previously. All right. So that, so that's that, why I was looking at it because I remembered that we had used the base model. Yep. And so I was looking at it to try to see what was different between those and what we're planning on getting. Yep. And that's why I was looking at D-Swank's truck. I'm like, okay, what, what is different about his truck? I'm sorry. That's my truck. Thank you. Okay, so the Lizard SX Tipper is the first semi-truck that can't have people, it looks like. Universal passenger. That sounds like it might be a standard model, though. SX Square Bale truck? No. No, I'm... A lot of them... Uh, looks like the Hulk Plus Plus line cannot. You're uh, looking at the tractor trailers? Yeah. Let me not be in the middle of where everybody is kind of doing their thing there, and I'll look at the trucks. Uh, NM NMC cannot. Okay, the uh, the Phoenix can. Carry and passengers. The Warrior, yeah, the Warrior line, the NMC line, and, uh, well, the Warrior uh, Plus Plus line, sorry. The war Base Warrior can, the Phoenix can. The Man can. 
Uh, the, man, the man. The base Hulk the should. Hulk, runner. Runner. The SFX yep. heavy. Uh, heavy uh, if runner can. The SX tipper is when it stops. Yeah, because now we're getting into single unit vehicles. Well, to be fair, yeah. there's almost no reason why multiple people need to be in a semi. Not really. Yeah. Uh, the Griffin can. It can? Yeah, you scroll down. There's actually a scroll. scroll well, yeah, there. no, I looked there. I just didn't see it in the Griffin line. Uh, the, just... the NMC Griffin Thunderbolt. Bird, uh, yes. Warning signs, decals. Oh, there it is. Universal path. Okay, I it, it does two. Okay. I didn't realize there was a scroll option. We might have to go through the rest of them now. Some, you would see it. Not all of them have the scroll. Alright. Yep, okay. That, both Griffin okay. too. Uh, let's take a look at the lizard, the Hulk. Well, my biggest concern was, was it working or was it not working? The so I don't work, so. Me, me personally, I'm cool now, knowing that yeah. it works. Hey, someone's calling for you, Fuzz. What's that? It just bellowed out. Oh, babe. oh that guy? I didn't hear him. I'm not worried about that guy anyway. He owes me, he owes me money. It's a good thing I went and trimmed those trees, huh? Well, hey, D-Swank. What? <laughs> Did you know you got a rip in the crotch of your pants? Uh, no. <laughs> you do. <laughs> I, 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 I can't even see the existence of pants at the moment. <laughs> if I have a rip in the crop crotch of my pants. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to have a rick rick in the crotch of your pants because <laughs> I'm a model. Hey, I'm the one drinking here. Y'all don't need to be slurring y'all's words. <laughs> so if we have rips in the crotch of our pants, does that, do you think Thunder and Fuzz do as well? Probably. Probably. Doc, Goose? Doc? Oh. What the hell are you doing, Fuzz? <laughs> I, I am doing the most effective and cheap way to do this. Bring this shit here, drop it in, and then cut it. I am so happy we don't damage the truck. Me too. Like Me too. Because if we did, it would make it... Actually, I wish we did, because that would make that more fun. Just like Remnant, where we were just kept dying, it makes it more fun. Okay. Oh, shit. There we go. But oh, that's a precarious balancing act. <laughs> Don't worry about it. No, turn around, D-Swank. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's precarious. <laughs> Come on. I'll be back in the tick. I'm Give me my, my fairy toy. Give me it back. What? Give me my toy back, game. What? She's yelling at the game to give her her toy back. That's what I'm hearing, but I'm not quite understanding. Okay, you know, my fa one of my, f my favorite tool is to the stump remover. Yeah. Why, I, why did the game take it from me? That's my question. I was 
I had selected disconnect for the front piece, and it disconnected it. And because it disconnected it, now it's flipped over. And I wanted the game to give it back to me by letting me flip it back over. That sounds like a thunder problem, not a game problem. Yeah. I had it selected as the front piece, not the piece. Okay. Not my favorite toy. You, you thought you did. No, I know I did. I looked at it. I'm going to go back and watch your stream now. There you are. Now back. Welcome back. So, do you swing? Yes. To basically quote what you had said... Mm, not a few days ago now. Yeah. When, when are you going to quote unquote get off your ass and do some Twitch stuff? Uh. <laughs> Need to bring it over more. Eh, just trim it. When I feel like it. It's quicker. Large, large, medium, large. <laughs> large, medium, large. <laughs> Okay. 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 Oh dear, how am I gonna fix this? So, Alright. Okay. So have you ever uh... been have you ever been to the point of drunkenness where sounds kind of throw you off so much that yeah. you have to regain your balance and thought processes? Uh, no. Okay. I, I am not that experienced at being a drunk. I haven't okay. taken that many classes at <clears throat> All right. So, so I don't have, I, I have like a bachelor's in it. I, I, I don't plan on working towards a master's degree, but I have a bachelor's in it. So as Thunder is laughing, my brain just <laughs> and it starts to flip and turn and rotate, and I'm like, "Wait, what? What? Why? Oh my god, no!" So suddenly Thunder's <laughs> laughing, and your brain is going, "How do I turn these cubes into space engineers?" Even though you're playing, um, pretty much. Far into the later. Pretty much. Boss, I might need some help. Did you flip over? Um, you could call it that. <laughs> I'm on the way. Hang on. I can't let go of the the saw thing because it's stuck inside the the one stuck on the claw, so I can't open the claw. Yeah, hang on. <laughs> and I can't get right down. <laughs> All right, now I can let it go. <laughs> Thanks, boss. <laughs> yep. All right, so I'm gonna give a tutorial on flipping things over with these. You don't want to grab them like a log. You want to do more forklift action. Bring it down. Make sure your uh uh your your claw is completely open to get it out of the way. And you want to go full forklift mode, all the way down, kind of like that. Get under it. As you slowly move forward, pick up. All right. Well, I was trying to get it off the log. That's why I picked it up. <laughs> and that didn't work very well. Now just lift. Yep, just lift and creep forward a little bit as you go. It's still stuck on that damn log. Keep You're going. getting there. You're getting there. Wait, right, wait, Daniel. <laughs> Shredder coming through. <laughs> Actually, you know, she might be a little bit of a lightweight for that. Yeah, well, she doesn't have her weight on, so... Ah. Yeah, well, it's because she had that off. Hang on a second. I got you. I got you. <laughs> it took my toy away. The thing is, it's stuck on the oh. freaking logs, and I can't get it up because... Uh, <laughs> because the, the forks don't hold, and my tires leave the ground when I try to pick it up. 
car. Out of the right, what tractor. I, what I tell you, going back up to it, alright? Alright. We gotta put it in front of it. Ah, shit. Hang on. I say let the drunks handle it. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're the ones streaming. It's gonna be more enjoyable for everyone if well, they handle it. The, the funny thing is, I'm not drunk. Yes. That's exactly what you'd expect a drunk person to say. Drunk implies that I've had alcohol of some kind. And when have you not? Are you just I... talking about some sort of alcoholic smoothie earlier? No. Wait, wait, wait. When I was not here for alcoholic <laughs> smoothie, what was that about? Okay, I was going to use watermelon juice to make a smoothie, not alcoholic. Oh, I'm on, hang on. I'm on the wrong side of this thing. <laughs> so, wait, are you on the wrong side of the conversation now because it wasn't alcohol? No, I'm yeah. stuck! <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep it. I'm stuck between these two and don't. This dude freaking sticks. Guess what, vlog? You're moving. I may have to reset this thing and send it back to the shop if we don't get this. Uh, you might need to move. I'm stuck! <laughs> this is why we need to retire the whole tractor. Uh, I'm stuck. <laughs> well, it's up right now. Whoop, well, it was. It was. It's, it's, I'm not. <laughs> I'm stuck on the big log. Alright, well, I'm just going to carry this away with me now. <laughs> okay. Let me see if I get unstuck. <laughs> Watch your G spot. I mean G button. Hey, <laughs> eh, almost had it. Hey, I told you to turn right. You bastard! What? It just refused to turn upright. <laughs> I tried telling you. <laughs> It literally refuses to turn upright. I was, it was like, nope. My my place to live is on my side. That's what I was trying to tell you. The game wouldn't let me have my toy back. <laughs> okay, that's about as upright as it's going to get. I feel like if I let go of it, it's going to not go upright. So whenever you're ready, it's ready for you. I'm coming. While you're doing that, while you're doing that I'm off to a fuzzy break. Right. I'm gonna get out the tractor so when that is done, somebody can let go of it. Okay. I go a little bit over. A bit more. I got it back. You can let it go now. Thank you. I got my toy back. Where do I want? No! No! Don't flip me over. Thank you, Daniel. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> so they'll need to fire Daniel for a rough housing. <laughs> Sounds like I do. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell over here? He knocked me over while I was trying when I was trying to No 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 I'm, I'm looking at this this <laughs> This ballet of what the fuck? This week I'm getting a truck. Hey, oh, wait. I can't. Why did you? Let me let me in. Let me in. 
I locked the door, dude. I'm not letting anybody come out there in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. You might be infected with whatever they have. No, I'm inebriated. I can't be infected by it. I'm not letting you win this car while you're inebriated. Hey, I'm not driving. You are. All right, back up. That's why you can get. I know why. Stop moving. Let me get my forks off you before you end up flipping yourself again. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I am so glad we're at the almost three hour mark. <laughs> now I'm moving. Away. <laughs> Alright. Hey, right. You sure you don't want it? Because it sounded like you were having a good old time over there. <laughs> trying to drive with someone who's drunk. Hey! Yeah. I'm not drunk! I've not had any alcohol! I you, there's only one seat in this thing. How can you drive with me? Gee. Exactly. Move my stumpy back up. She. Wait, you got a stumpy? It's my stumpy. The stump cutter. You know, we need to sit down and watch teeth one day. No! 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 Hey, she knows that movie! <laughs> Only because you told me about it before. <laughs> I do not want nightmares. I have enough trouble sleeping. How could you have nightmares about that? This man never gonna have that. Thundra. She said she had a stumpy. <laughs> <laughs> you bring this on yourself, you know. I <laughs> That's what my tractor just went like really sad and both things are down now. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <Why? laughs> Whoa! You almost flipped with that one! You almost <laughs> You almost flipped! Oh no! <laughs> Um, <laughs> God, you need to keep this up, Thunder. You might make it one of <laughs> No! No, that's impossible because I just took a piss. <laughs> I wouldn't be uh, so sure if us. <laughs> so I have to wonder, D Swank, have you ever actually honestly watched uh uh, uh, Draco's and I's It's Better Together. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. That I was not ad lib. That was legitimate. Huh? I've repressed most of it. Okay. Part of a good thing. I want to sit down and play that with somebody here. I want to play it. I don't even know if it works with current Minecraft. I don't even care. I don't care either. I want to play with Minecraft. I want to play it. I've been wanting to do the Better Together map with somebody. I think what me and Draco did, it was broken. I think it was intentionally broken. No, it's broken because of um, version differences. But now that we can backtrack version differences within the launcher, that may not be a problem. We just had to figure out which version it belongs to. Well, the map itself is pretty damn fun. Shift tab. I think you're getting pretty loaded there, Bubba. Yes, you are. No, I said you. I know I'm loaded. That's not a question here. Alright, now I need the stumpy. Go down. Stumpy, go down. Um, it's not going to, not till later. It went down, like a good Stumpy. I wouldn't know. Hey, you know what, I'm, I'm just backing away from this. <laughs> it's not that type of Stumpy, you guys are turning dirty. 
Hey! We didn't say anything, Thunder. You're the one who's got your stuff going on in your head. And you continue to say it despite the fact that one of us drunk, one of us dirty, and the other one is the swing. So... <laughs> And I'm sleep deprived. <laughs> I'm not and drunk. There I'm sleep you deprived. Go. <laughs> There's a difference. Yes. No, there isn't. At least not with me. Mm. When I'm sleep deprived, it's actually worse than when I'm drunk. Because at least with uh, drunk, I have no pain <laughs> with it. Fair enough. Uh, I think that might be that one you were trying to do earlier. I think it is too. That might have to live there forever. Alright, so since three quarter of you three quarters of you are here. I've been contemplating the uh, campaign I'm running in D&D. &D. Yeah. The nautical? Oh. Hang on a second. I can't think about more than one thing at a time. Let me re-grab this thing. Okay. Be careful. Your rearmost strap is not done up. Uh, I think it is. You mean on the pickup or on the trailer? On the trailer. Uh, I, I queued them all to be... There, it's done. Okay. Uh, uh, L one said do all of them. So uh, L, L only works for the individual item you've selected. So that means truck and trailer. So you have to yeah. do them both. Well, no, yeah. it was already strapped before you hit L, so it unstrapped it when you strapped the others. All right, no, so it on. unstrapped. I the first time I hit L, it unstrapped it. I don't know what <laughs> happened because I watched it unstrap. All right, so I'm about to start introducing proper. I don't know. I guess technically they're random battles, but they make sense because they're ship battles and involving random pirate factions that aren't the orcs. Um, this is mostly directed towards you, D-Swank, and Thunder, because you've played more D&D than Daniel has, and myself. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about random battles in between um, locations that you're going, if they make sense? If they make sense and they aren't Aren't over the top. Uh, well, not over the top. I mean, they don't slow you down significantly. Like the the if if we're trying to get from point A to B and we end up spending the entire session in a random battle from point A to B, then no. Because it, it just slows down the plot. But it, I, if your random battle is, I mean, it's a threat, but it's one that we can has we can deal with relatively quickly. Okay, uh, Thunder, your thoughts on it? I like the idea of various random things happening, and you know this. Not 100%. I mean, I've only just started RPing with you, technically. I, yeah, I mean, I'm... Go ahead, Thunder. I was talking to you about it when we started talking about the first battle we had where you were afraid of killing us with too many orcs coming over at once. That was to give you a taste of ship battles after boarding. Uh-huh. So, here's the thing. Because I am using uh, the one book. Ooh, nice. Nice. Uh, Complete Guide to Nautical Campaigns. And it's supposed to be about nautical campaigns. 
and piracy is a huge problem right now. As you are going from point A to point B, and encounters with a pirate ship is a thing. Right. I'm yeah. surprised we had not had more of them. I told that's you that before. That's that's because at the time, and this is part of this is part of because I've just kind of decided to throw this out to the side. Here, here's their silver sales. Have it. Y'all love it. Y'all have it. Whatever. Fuck off. <laughs> Beast Wayne knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. So it doesn't matter because the previous ships are too small or sink too easily. The later ships are huge and won't sink as easy. A Galleon is a pretty decent starting ship because it's a hauler and you can put like two or three weapons on it. Whatever. Doesn't matter. That's not the point. The reason I have not introduced ship battles into the game so far is at level one, y'all would have died. Oh, yeah. Like, not even my... Uh, anyway, never, never mind. The way ship battles happen, and this is the reason I'm asking this because three quarters of you are here. When a ship battle happens, the game shifts from roleplay to tactical. What are you doing with that? It won't let go of me. So I'm you over, were, <laughs> over here. I'm, you know, I'm, you know, never mind. I'm getting distracted. <laughs> so in a ship battle via this system, and technically partially Stormrack and other ways of D&D, but... Um, Nautical campaigns actually makes it more thematical and faster. Yeah. Now, basically, what I was saying, Fuzz, uh -huh. is like, okay, we have a. Say we're traveling from across the 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 big hole in the yeah. Okay. Um, we're doing that. If we hit a pirate attack every day. No! God, no. If we hit one pirate attack, crossing. Every crossing. That's also a little excessive. Right. Alright, so so here's my visual idea, although I'll partially want to lean it towards a roll, although the rolls have not been fully set up yet. That just push aside for a moment. There's the idea of a pirate attack. There's the idea of a sea monster attack. There's the idea of weird shit happens that's just pure role play and you could typically get through it within a few minutes. There's the idea that it's just, hey, shit happens and you move on. And a majority of it is you're just moving on to plot A to B. Yeah. But the biggest thing is the first two, the the ship, the the pirate attacks and the monster sea monster attacks. Those would be on the lower ends. Basically, on a roll twenty, it would be a crit twenty or a fumble one. Regardless of which one, maybe one of those things happen. But the prop get off, oh, damn, get move. When a ship attack happens, you have a chase sequence that happens where you're being chased by a pirate, regardless of who it is, and a movement sequence happens where, okay, are you further away or closer to the pursuer? Done. Quick. Ship actions, which you have three, which Thundra is well aware of because she's been introduced to it already. Uh-huh. You have three of those, and technically... If you're within range, players have actions, like V-Swank's uh, Eldritch Blast later levels, technically, has a huge-ass range to it. I think now even it has a 600... Was it 600? Uh, no, it, it's 300 right now, I believe. Okay. Well, at 300. At 300, you can get a few shots off before the ship ever gets into boarding range. Right. So, and the ship mage, which I would assume Velkis would have the, the validity over, the, the mastery over, if not him, 
well, Mira, somebody, because technically the ship mage doesn't have to be the magic caster. It's it's weird rules. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. A ship battle can take time, but it ends with either y'all getting the fuck away and moving on to your next square and never worrying about it Quite because good. you're faster. Which probably won't be the case because you're a galleon and most pirates are running faster ships. But that's the reason some of the abilities between the uh, officers can slow the other ship down. Or make your ship go all, faster. <laughs> right. All that out of the way. It's going to end with either you getting the hell away or two, a boarding incident of you either saying, screw this shit, let's get them the hell out of here, or screw this shit, holy shit, here they come. And a combat sequence happening of them boarding and you being in a combat scenario that would be similar to a random encounter. That's kind of how ship combats happen. Mm-hmm. It is a slightly, potentially, long-ended sequence. But it also makes sense because of the era and everything that this is taking place in. Then you have the sea monster attacks, which are now going to start happening. Which is effectively the same thing, but no boarding incident. And... It's either a fight to her death or get the hell away. That's kind of where we're at. And I wanted to get y'all... Uh, which, where's the thick one? Okay. I wanted to kind of get y'all's thoughts on that particular thing. Because inevitably, y'all are going to get to a point where you can go underwater, which is going to probably be relatively soon. Considering y'all have two water breathers already, what two water breathers, and you have amongst yourselves enough gold to probably buy a submariner type upgrade to the ship. I don't think we have that much money. I'm not saying much more. Anyway, um, and I wanted to really get your thoughts on that because while I have ideas for later adventures for. Um, you know, the narrative. I want to stretch it out so y'all can enjoy the full aspect of 1 to 20. So that's, that's kind of why I'm asking what are your feelings on random encounters? Random, They're random? Random encounters. Yeah. They're random. Hi, Coco. Um, and I wouldn't mind running into pirates either in sea or on the land. While we have been going to two major port cities, you would think that you would see some pirates around. Well, we have a lot of them. There's, yeah. narr there's narrative reasons why you haven't seen that many pirates attacking you directly. Yeah. Most of them in the area have been eaten. Yeah. The Red Hand is prolific right now. We're trying to and fix that. I am well aware of that. Uh, the other option, Thundra... Well, I... I know I, as a player character, I know every session I'm dealing fairly close with a, a pirate or former pirate. Yeah. So, I, there's a pirate in every session. <laughs> yes. So, why are you complaining that we don't see enough pirates? Because I want to see more pirates. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I want to see Get more sailors. Mirror. I want to see... Here's the thing. Thematically and narratively speaking, you haven't seen many pirates for two major reasons. One... While your ship is well known, it is also well known as a captain that used to say, fuck you, your ass is gonna die, not me. 
Yeah. So they're probably avoiding that ship. Yeah. Yeah, it's the, the balls enough to be running with the silver sails. Yeah. We said, hey, look how much money I have. Exactly. I can afford really strong ship guards. Get the fuck away from me. And two, you were low level before, and the way ship battles run, yeah, no. But you're at the level to where I'm not afraid to send 15 kobolds after you. Depending on what they are, that might be a bit much. <laughs> nope. I want you to remember those words. What? That she wants pirates? Yes. I mean, right now, y'all are in a bit of a very long-winded cutscene of sorts? Well, so far, the only... I can understand the Red Hand is taking out the stuff in the, the waters. Yeah, I mean, the, the Red Hand literally kill and eat anything they see, parrot or otherwise. Right. Even, even other orcs are fighting against them, if you remember that one scene from Session 1. Yeah, the two pirate ships, or the two ships fighting, where I could see that one of them was some kind of tribal, and the other was definitely a Red Hand flag. And we're like, nope, we're going this way. We're yeah. Going, we're going away. Right. Also... Well, if you're ver that desperate, I'm sure that after this fight with the Red Hands we're in, if if the city survives, there's probably going to be an outbreak of rodents. So you can get all the rat pies you want. <laughs> I'm sorry I don't get this reference. Pie rats, rat pies. Oh. I got that and I was drunk. Sleep deprived. I've had two hours sleep in almost 48 hours. What's wrong with you? I have that much sleep and I'm making the bad word play. <laughs> and it's good enough that a drunk fuzz can get it. Yeah. That's not saying much. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I don't know who's that for, but you. I think that's an insult. I think that was a self home. Uh, I think she just insulted herself. Yes. <laughs> but anyway. But also, um, Fuzz is a coherent drunk, so he doesn't count as a drunk getting it. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, I mean, as far as the campaign is going, the first couple of levels have been general random adventures that sort of strung along from where you are just because low levels. Um, the levels between 5 and 10 because they're going to be slightly strung about because of XP and I've kind of decided to just run with the XP aspect. Will be a little bit slower but not as slow because how much XP the sea monsters will give when you encounter them. You know, I mean... Uh, Things will... Pacing's gonna be weird. Be Pacing back. will be very... Okay. Pacing will be very weird. But I wanted to get your opinion on the random encounters as long as they made sense. I'm not gonna be... Hey, you moved a hexagon. Random encounter. Hey, you moved a hexagon. Random encounter. No. I would be absolutely okay with that being potential but the potential of weight like like you said make with mixed hunger table some options yep. have more weight than others right the random encounter should be the same way well yeah i mean some of the random encounters may be purely role play yeah and some of them might be a case of we see something off in the distance that we don't have to deal with or we see off in the distance and we want to help. Right. There's a there's a lot of variance there. I'm trying to see where this log pile ends. Um, but like the fact that the Red Hand are killing everything within their grasp, 
That makes sense of why we haven't seen anything else. Right. But once the red hand is dealt with, then should see more things. Damn it! Over long. You will. Damn it! Freaking log, let go of me. Believe me, I have plans. Red Hand is basically in the first arc. I will say that. Both as a drunk and as a DM and as a I know everybody here is understanding that this is a game that we're all involved in. Uh-huh. And I need to let this go and pick it up. I've, also, yeah. I've also found I out that one of my uh, role-playing games is coming to an end because the DM is becoming very busy. Well, that's unfortunate. So, you don't have to worry about me because I don't have a fucking life. D uh, Fuzz? Yes? I'm in the same boat. I don't much have... The only thing I have to do is make sure my daughter gets on the school bus. And that's about it. Yeah, well, you know, that would explain why Sela is that well involved. Mm-hmm. Because I have time to think about her. I don't have yeah. much time to do else. I mean, I even changed my avatar on Discord to her. I noticed. <laughs> that makes me real sad when she ends up... Never mind. If she dies, that's okay. Another well, character we... will take her place. I know. That, that was a joke. I mean, at the end of the day, each and every one of you could die. Part of the reason of second game is for me to learn how to honestly edge that line so that the battles that truly matter feel truly dangerous. Well, the other question I have relating to this game is how do you fill up gas and repair because I'm almost down to hell half on both? Uh, go, uh, go fill up, go repair. Where? Up at the uh, the shop. Okay. Yeah, inside the shop. You, when you go there, you go inside the big building. There's a couple of uh, caution strips, corners. Yeah. Make sure it's inside that corner. And then you go up to the icon, which is to the right, which is like a computer. Yeah. And it, there should be an option to repair and or customize and all that gooju. All right, well, I gotta get and my... then gasoline is on the outside on the far side of the building. All right, yep. well, I gotta adjust my uh, attachments here. You can take those with you because those may need repair too. No, I mean I have to adjust the way they're aimed so that I can drive. Gotcha. Long distance. It's different when I'm just cruising around picking up logs here and there, but when I'm actually driving down the road, I gotta have at least somewhat sanity here. Sanity? What's that? Weight distribution, if nothing else. <laughs> That's sanity? Weight distribution? What? Balance. Is that like wh whether the fat's on your hips or on your gut? Balance. Balance. So, I'm going fat on point. your gut or fat on your ass? Well, to be honest, when it's balanced, you kind of have it both. So... Well, uh, that made a case. I'm very balanced. So am I. Because <laughs> I'm a fat mofo. And it's balanced. Hmm. Mostly. Well, I didn't know where you go to repair anything. And I, I, I'm getting almost a half on both. And I, I, don't, I don't trust that. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a good time to go. Either right about a half or roughly quarter. Well, that's a good time to go. It's three quarters on repair, but the tank is the one that's half. Yeah, that's a good time to go. It probably didn't help when we were flipped, playing flipsies with everything. Oh. Right. Wait, when were y'all playing flipsies? <laughs> Not flipsies, flipsies. Don't tell him that. Just tell him don't worry about it. 
I will next time. I'm absolutely deprived. My mind does not compute things before my mouth speaks. You're deprived? I'm deprived of what? Why are you deprived in, when you're talking about playing footsie? I'm deprived of everything, so that's why I'm talking about footsie. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Too far, dude! <laughs> hey, I realize it's been about 15 years, alright? Thanks to an asshole at work. And that's how it works. Makes it where you have nothing for fifteen years. Damn, that no, guy is being torn. That guy is giant shot. Made me realize. It made me realize. What the hell? I saw. I saw a walking tree. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought whatever the hell making that horror noise out there has just found my ass. <laughs> I didn't forget to talk to you, Coco. I'm <laughs> fifteen years is up. I had to take my mom to the you know airport, what? and I didn't get enough sleep. You know, you can always jump in chat with us. <laughs> yeah, Coco, come on. This tree just walks up to Fuzz and is just like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> but no, the last, the last about 40 minutes of the day has been kind of slow. Apparently, he finds one of the websites that lets you anonymously say, hey, I might have had an STD. You might want to go check it. Wow. And, and he puts my number in without me knowing, you know. Oh, as a joke. Oh, my. Yeah. Yeah, and I get the text. I'm like, wait, what? And, uh, and then we got to, you know, laughing and everything else. I'm like, wait, how long has it been? Shit. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. Ooh, icy? That'd be a tad bit chilly. It would actually be really good, too. I had icy in forever. I had one this morning. Wait, uh, okay, are we talking about having an icy in the same way? <laughs> what? Wait a minute now! What the do you do? Not what? not exist. What? The way did not exist. <laughs> what do you think? Hey, open this door! What do you view? What, wait, what do you view as an IC? <laughs> I need to know. I just, I think I just heard something that I need to know. <laughs> Crushed ice with juice flavoring. Okay, fuzz. fuzz. That's an icy. Nope. I trimmed the other side. Okay. Uh, I cut and trimmed the other side, so we are essentially dead on this side for additional trees to cut. Alright. I have little doubt that by the time by the time we sell all these trees we can buy the next plot. Well we do have some trees over on the other side that we can cut too. All right. Yeah. Alright. I got stump cutter. Lower it down now that I'm in here. Turn the <laughs> engine off. Wait, how long? What time is it? Shit, it's on my clock. Uh -huh. Yeah. You must All have heard right. me yawn. <laughs> yeah, I heard the yawn, and I and I realized that I am almost three and a quarter, three and a half hours. Almost out of alcohol. No, but I'm getting there. Okay. I'm eight bread wicked in. Wow, it's only twenty euros to repair the vehicle. Yeah, it don't cost much. Fuel is next it, it, it costs 20 bucks on my end, Thunder. I don't think she realizes that changes it in 20 years. Actually, the unit probably doesn't. No, the, the unit the, doesn't change. There's no fancy math. Yeah. If you, a little sad. If you want to have your truck going faster, just change it to miles per hour. Yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty much. Because right now, technically, in the middle of spring, it's 47 degrees. Did you know you could have weight on the tractor itself without having the attachment weight? What? Yeah, but they're only on the front. And the you needed the attachment on the back.
Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this last log on you. And because of what time it is and all that, go ahead and run what you got. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna trim that. Cuckoo Cola, baby. I need to watch Frisky Ring. Alright, I'm gonna get gas. Randomly, out of nowhere, the episode where Cuckoo Cola was a thing is now stuck in my head. Was that oh, gas wow. was outside? I'm gonna go park my tractor. You go and run what you got. Yep. So. I, I've got one question I want to ask you, Fuzz. Go ahead. And it's something that we probably should get on stream for this. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. So, with our conversation earlier about which, which what, one that just kind of ended a little bit ago about, you know, 15 okay. years, all that stuff. Oh, have, you, have you ever heard of, I mean, everybody hears about the, the normal things like doggy style, missionary. Have you ever heard of Charizard? No. No, and I don't want to. I don't think I want to, but I'm... It, it's when right before you you finish your you light your uh, partner's pubes on fire and set, yell you don't have enough badges to tame me. That's I wish I had face cam going at this point. So do um, I, honestly. There was this moment where I just kind of pulled my hand up out of my hands, and it was like, you pulled your hand up out of your hands? <laughs> <laughs> I pulled my head up out of my hands, and was just sitting there contemplating for a minute of, what the fuck? The meaning of life. No, the meaning of that question <laughs> was written all over my face, because there was an intrigue, and then there was, what the fuck? What have I done to this trailer? <laughs> I don't know. What don't movie know. are you trying to bring forth with your trailer? I, am I hung up on a tree? I mean, you did receive a text like two days ago when I said, Hey, I got an idea for a short story. Yeah. Okay. How do you get give it gas? I mean, yes. park in the spot in front of the gas pump, and then you go to the gas pump. It's not coming up in the <laughs> option, though. Uh, are you in the truck right now? No. Alright, um... Uh, where's the thing at? Uh, you might not be far enough in. I don't have my, uh... I gotta turn my thing on. Back up out of the way here a little bit. Was that too close? Uh, probably not. Let me turn my window back on. I couldn't get it to pop up over here. I never. Okay, okay. Uh, that's not like the other ones. You have to be in the vehicle. Okay, you have to be in the vehicle to do it? Let, let, Thunder, let Thunder get in there, Bob. Okay, in my... Oh, okay, I see it. Yeah. Uh, select... Oh, start feeling. Okay. Yeah. And it's a little glitchy. Last time I did it, I had to press it a few times where it decided to say, Oh, you want to fill it all the way up. Okay. All right, I'm good. Okay. Thank you. And you already got it repaired? Yeah, I did the repairs first. Now I just need a bath. Especially my yeah. stumper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your stumper's a bit derp dirty. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't good nowhere near your stumper like that. <laughs> well, say so you will. Otherwise. <laughs> 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 that brings so many questions that <laughs> I don't know if I want the answers to. Hey, you're the one to start this whole ordeal. How? Right? 
No, you started this whole ordeal. <laughs> you just need to accept that and be okay with it. I just curious how so I can start more things like this because it's actually quite funny. <laughs> Alright, once all vehicles get home, then I'm going to end my stream. Okay. I'm going to... Yeah, just uh, try and figure out what the heck's going on with d -Swank. I, I So am I because the trailer <laughs> is just like... I'm not going to work right now. Do you need help getting back upright? <laughs> no, it's not getting upright. It's that... Am I hung up on another tree? Possibly. I am. Okay. I am. I, I okay. am halfway to see if you're okay. This time I am hung up on another tree. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, I can see you over there playing around the curtain. There you are. Yeah, you're very hung up. You need to turn sharp left. And now, relatively straight. Yeah. Now, what happened was I got hung up turning right yep. up here, and, and the trailer would not turn right here. I got you. And, and I got hung right. up on something, and I had to double, I basically had to drive in a circle to the left. See, this is why we need personal vehicles. What? So we're not running next so, to a truck. So we can watch D Swank fail horribly at driving a truck and trailer and not be running next to it. Hey, you know what? The, I didn't roll this time. Fair enough. This you time. Actually, I we actually to... have an operational vehicle now. And I was going to get it unstuck. You just need more light, that's all. That's pretty much the... Damn. You know, you know it's, it's funny, I remember day one, where I was talking about, hey, we need those floodlights. And I remember somebody saying, nah, we're okay, we got plenty of light. I, yeah. I said and that. I, and, I, and, I, and I said specifically, dude, this map gets dark. Huh? I said that we didn't need the floodlights <laughs> first because it was already almost daytime. Because it was daytime, you didn't think we needed them because you weren't aware of how short the days were. Well, they're not really even short. I mean, we finally got the dark, and we're about to end the stream. I mean, the 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 time is well suited, which means next stream we're going to be nighttime pretty much all damn time. That. At, no, because we're the more than halfway through the night. So. Yeah, well, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, it's, at it's the beginning simple. of the, the the first stream, yeah, you don't need the the spotlight because you know you could just put the truck. Yeah, but the truck only does a little bit of frontal view, and that's it. I I had already played this map a handful of times in practice mode, as it were, to figure out that oh shit, we need floodlights. Congrats. Oh, not, bad. not bad at all. Is that enough to get a land piece or do we need one more load? No, we nope. need like 46? 48. No, we need 80 something. 86. Like, yeah, 86. I think that's it. But that's enough to potentially get our next vehicle. But I think we need to go ahead and shoot for the next uh, piece what? of land. Land first. Yeah. 85. Is it? Okay, 85. Where but is again, the power washer? It is right in front of you, just about. Uh, it's right here. Um. I got you. I'm coming. Is it that little white thing? It's this thing over here next to me. Over here. Okay, I can back up to it. <laughs> what? Oh, that takes a minute, don't it? Yeah, it does. That's why I was trying to do each of the pieces as they came through. 
Well, this one wouldn't have got so dirty if um, it Bad hadn't got flipped a couple times. How's the rest of the vehicles? Go and bring them in for a wash. Let's end this with a wash. Alright. I don't mind doing it since I kind of got used to the way it works. Well, you know, honestly, I haven't done it yet, so. And it's on stream. I mean, I don't know if two of us can do this. Yeah. No, we'd need two units. Okay. There's only one pressure washer on the thing, so. I got you. Here comes the big tractor. Alright, tractor's done. Bring that knot out of the way. Alright, I'll take that one, and whoever can hop in this one. It looks nice and shiny! I'm so shiny! I'm gonna park by the floodlight. Sandra! So what? You don't get it dirty again! She dumped the freaking weight on your tractor, Buzz. No, I didn't. It's right That's yes, alright. What do you mean I dumped it? It's right there. Yeah, because I reattached it as soon as I got in. Oh, um, whenever I tried to tab, I, I must hit Q as well as tab. Hey, man. I'm gonna get you in a minute. Shit. <laughs> Hang on, hang on, stop moving, stop moving. Alright, there you go. You might have to back the uh, truck, uh, tractor up. Where? Roughly where I'm at right now. Where? You? Oh, yeah. No, there it is. I do need to find where the other weight is. It's somewhere ah! in, uh, out there. <laughs> well, I'm roughly where you were. Alright. That one's already mostly clean. You're good. Alright. I think all the vehicles are clean now. Well, this tractor's off. Oh, shit. I've turned the music on. There we go. Thundra? Yeah? How do I... How do I... Like, tractor do I off. <laughs> there we go. Alright, y'all park the vehicles. Yeah, who done parked it? Who don't know how to park it? Okay. I was making sure I had my, all my things down. I was lowering my stump cutter. Since I'm staying here. With the vehicle. There we go. Gotta train you how to park a damn tractor. Fine, who left for a concrete slab and who I'll left park the, it for you. Who left the damn doors open over here? Well, I didn't know if you wanted to wash it out after it got hit, run over by the um, tractor. I mean, I don't know if you've been south and or coast enough to know you never leave your windows down or open. Because holy shit, you're gonna be clammy as fuck the next morning. Okay, fine, I'll do it. What? Clammy? Clammy. What? Do do the raccoons come over and shove clams in your... You don't want to know. How's that fuzz? Looks like that is probably parked to me. Yay! Honestly, I have no idea what you are talking about, because... I'm, I'm sure you don't, you dry lander motherfucker. Where the hell's the damn Dude, motherfucker? I... Dude, I, I had a weight. I told pondering. you the w weight was in the grass because whenever we were trying to do this. this I know, part. but where? Physically, where is it? Where is it? Padre, it's on the coast. If I remember what? correctly, I told you right now. It's a, I can't see because it's freaking too dark, but it's over here by the southern floodlight because I was over here when I. This, what's with this dump thing he was? I All right, we'll find that later. We'll find it in the morning when it's <laughs> bright out. That'd be yeah, my so, task since I, I so, really lost see, it. See, here's the thing. When you live in a very, very humid climate, you never, ever leave your windows open. Especially if you have a unpredictable weather like here, where. No, 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 no. no. I don't mean rain. No. I mean humidity. No, I. And dew. Morning dew. And dew? Morning dew. And dew. Mm hmm. 
Hey, it's Fuzz. It's not that big of a deal, dude. Yes. We've only got ten trees on the other side that we're that are within zone to cut, so. Yeah, we're good. By the time we sell everything else, we'll be alright. Okay. If nothing else, I can watch back my stream and see where I dropped it. <laughs> we'll find out by morning. I can always reset it, and it'll be at the shop. It's right over there. So, anyway. To any and everybody that said hello today, which was... No one! <laughs> Daniel and Laloche. It's right here. I do appreciate you stopping in to say hello. Until the next stream, which is... I don't know. Maybe one day I'll get the balls up enough to do a D and D stream. Who the fuck knows? I don't know. Do you know these way? I don't. Know. What if you'll suddenly grow a pair of balls? Yes. Uh, talk to your cat. He ain't got balls. I know. Neither one do. Mine's about to not have him. I like how this tractor trailer kind of gets chalked. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, when you let go of it and walk away. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, until this next stream, hope you all have a beautiful day, and I'll see you all then. Good night, everybody. Night, night. Good night. And that's uh, in for my night. night. Hi, Coco, and night, night. And yeah, fuck, I'm What? <laughs>